Going live. Going live. You're live. Excellent. Hello. We're live. Hello. We did it. We came. <laughs> you knew we would. I mean, well, yes, you did, because it was, it was foretold. It was foretold. Unlike, it was scheduled. Un unlike last week, when like, I forgot to put a video out saying there wouldn't be a stream, but the Discord general last Saturday was just like, no stream today. And someone be like, no, Graham is away. Literally the next message. Is there no stream today? No, Graham is away. <laughs> next message. Where's the stream today? Mike, read, please, read. It was the last, it was the previous message. <laughs> it was the last thing to be said. <laughs> so yes. Good. Right, uh, Caradog is sorting out his microphone. Yes, it has slipped awkwardly on my collar. Ah, I see, fair yes. enough. Right, I'm going to... Oh, yes, you can unmute yourself. I'll allow it. Hello, people right. can now hear me. Yes. Right, I'm immediately getting started on an unboxing of an Is Easy <laughs> induction hub. <laughs> this was the cheapest one on Amazon that was also apparently... I'm unboxing Is Easy. Yeah, that, that was also apparently like 2,200 watts. So I was like, cool, send it. Um, why why am I unboxing an induction hub? Um, for the cider, of course. I yes. want. I was going to unbox this, and we were going to have this set up beforehand. But we got in in a in a completely uncharismatic occurrence of events. Uh, we got sidetracked by doing something else before the stream. What do you, oh, so you mean? Uncharacteristic. Yeah. Wh whatever. I'm, yes. Yeah. Where is where is the, the the remote for the lights? For those lights. Yes. Um, on top of the hot air station. Ah, uh, yes. Why is off not off? Uh, you have to turn down the brightness to minimum. I don't. I. I can't remember what off does, but yeah. It reduces the brightness. I see. But not to zero. It just takes it down by ten percent. It's off of maximum. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, anyway, yes. Hello, everyone. I've not actually read a line of chat yet, so um, uh, welcome on in, everyone. Thanks for see, coming. See, there are at least people here. Yeah. This is good. Yes, indeed. Oh, we are a smidgen hot. We're a smidgen hot, are we? Yes. Um, uh, I mean, well, I was... Oh, I see. Yeah, bright, yeah, brightness. Oh, yeah, yeah. That... Um, uh! yeah. Oh, suddenly. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Caradog slowly looming in from the side of the picture is like a scene from It. Where just like we're looking at a scene and just sudden and just suddenly Pennywise is just like, ah, you know. <laughs> um, uh, we're, okay, we're slightly less luminous. Yes, we were fine until we put on the face light. Basically, <laughs> you you were just like, does that look alright? And I was like, yes. Then you turned on the face light, and I was like, ah. Oh. It was like, oh wait, no, maybe not. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Behold, the cheapest induction hub from Amazon is easy. It hmm. is. It had a fan on the bottom and it said it had Vortex fan technology. Ah. I think that's because the fan is round. Y yes. Um, and it also had cooling vents. So I thought, well, that's, that's, that's definitely sold it to me. So, yeah. Um, I don't know anything about using these, so... Good luck, everyone. Um, <laughs> Why do they need good luck? It might explode them, I don't know. Uh, you are going to be exploded. Yeah. Please be boiled. <clears throat> right. Receive boiling. <laughs> well, hopefully the cider... Well, no, we don't want to boil the cider either. We just want to warm it. Yes. Um, right. Ah, oh, decent motherboards. Um, also, for the million people that are just like, what happened to your hand? I bashed it on the counter. It's a significant mark. I, mean, I, I guess it is. Yeah, it, it does. Is, it it is does quite look vicious. It does look pretty gnarly. I'll give you that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I did take psychic damage and was instantly killed. But, um, <laughs> You're however, also there on the phone trying to talk to someone. Going, Hello. Yes. <laughs> but I'm. But I'm okay now. Um, I was dead, but I am now okay. Yeah. Um, Annie is in fact okay. Ah, no, do not reorder. Um, right. What is 
You are unrequired, you are unrequired, you um, are unrequired. Right, I'm going to roll the dice unrequired. and guess that this is a light. Oh, nope, that's the monitor. Okay. Good it wasn't the stream PC. <laughs> 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 Heavy breathing. Uh, ah, good, you're back. There we go. Um, well, I need to do... Um... So, what precisely about the stream causes you stress? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I need to go and get an extension lead because I'm not, pl I'm not plugging in 2200 watt thing into the strip under the bench. No, no. Um, it should go into there and it should go into the power meter so we can see whether it is actually 2200 watts. Yeah. We can but do a science. Are you telling me that a Chinese manufacturer might be lying? Creatively interpreting the measurement criteria for the labeling of the product. Yeah. Also, did you bring the saucepan? Uh, oh, that's in the kitchen as well, yeah. Um, <laughs> please, please may we have saucepan. Yeah. I mean, technically, given that there is just flex going into the hot plate, there is 2200 watts going to the hot plate. So, um, so yeah, theoretically, okay. it is already 2200 watts. It's okay, we can, we can do a science. We have infrared cameras and all, we can do science. We do, it's, it's true. We can do all of these things. We can watch it getting hot and be like, look, the hot plate gets hot. Entertainment. I mean, <laughs> in theory, the hot plate shouldn't get hot because it's an induction hot. This hot, is hot, true. Hot. I mean, th there's going to be induction hot. It's an induction. Hob. Yeah, I mean, plate. Th there'll be like there'll be heat soak back onto it because the thing that's sitting on it is getting hot. Yes. But, yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Hold on to your butts, everyone. I'm sending it power. Sure. All right. I did say it's to good. hold on to your butt. You know. <laughs> It 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 ran it went and then stopped. Cool. Ah, I see. Uh, very well. Um, you can check what objects will interact with the hot plate. Do you think it can charge my phone? <laughs> I'm sure someone has tried to do that and made grave mistakes. <laughs> uh, that would be humorous. However. Right. Um, okay. Right. While I'm doing this, I'll just tell you. I'll I'll tell you. We've got a great show for you today, everyone. Um, uh, right. We've got we've got mold cider, maybe. Um, potentially. Potentially. There's a there's a severe danger of mold cider, and then once we've done that, um, the Fanatec gear showed up. So remember the remember the saga of Caradog buying the Fanatec racing wheel and pedals and stuff like that. Well, they're here. We have them. Um, I don't know the circumstances by which they actually ended up arriving. Even do I. That's the best part. Okay, so you weren't as aware far, that they were in As far as I'm aware, yeah. they still haven't been dispatched. I see, yeah, because... As far as I have been informed... Because yeah. what happened was, the fri uh, not, not yesterday, but last Friday... Um, so, Friday before last. Yeah. Um, so I was I was in the shop for the morning just before I was going away for the weekend, um, and just as I was sort of closing up to to walk out the door, UPS shows up and the guy comes in and goes oh I've got some boxes for you but there's a um, there's a customs charge on them and I was like what's that, what's that and I was like no is it, it, it must and I was like oh is, is they got Fanatec written on them and he said yes I'm like what <laughs> so I'm just like phone out. Caradog, it's all here. There's a there's a customs charge on it. Do you want me to just pay the charge and accept it or refuse it? And Caradog was just like, sure, t pay the charge and accept it. So I was, I was just like, here is some cash, receive boxes, and now we have them. <laughs> have you paid for it? No! <laughs> I see. I have received a refund via the chargeback process. I see. Well... We won't talk about that for now because obviously I'll let you decide what's going on with well, that. Well, yeah, between... I am waiting. I am waiting for Fanatec to reply to my emails. They still haven't replied to my emails. What at all? No. Oh my. Wow. Okay. I genuinely didn't like. I like when I accepted it, and like up until this point, when we started this conversation, I was expecting you to turn around and say, 
oh yeah, you know, they, they said it was in transit, so it looks like it did actually finally show up. But no, just literally don't know anything. Okay, whatever. <laughs> right, I, I, I have no idea. So we've got the Fanatec gear and we're going to unbox it today. The plan is we're, we're going to, we want to do a full proper formal review of all of it as, as, a pra as practice for doing like real reviews, quote unquote. Mm. Um, so basically today is going to be discovery. We're going to unbox it all, look at it all, try and make it work. So when we actually record the review, we actually have half an idea of what we're doing and what to expect. So that's the plan today is just discovery, basically. Um, so, however, first of all, we're going to get slightly drunk. Um, well, I will anyway. Um, yes. So I should probably give this a rinse out because it's a new pot. Yes, I'm going to quickly rinse this. Um, Very well. And uh, uh, yeah, in the meantime, do you want to grab the, the, the mold cider off of the shelf? It's on the top of yes. the back. I will, I will. Yeah. Uh, Welcome to Kitchen I ASMR, presume we're everyone. going to pour this into the saucepan and not try and heat the bag in the saucepan. I can't hear anything that Caradog is saying because I'm making noises in the kitchen. So yes, I feel like that would be the sensible option. However, whilst, whilst we're doing that, I'm going to make sure we've actually loosely got stuff that we need and stuff and things. Yes. Didn't hear a word you said because I was making noises in the oh, kitchen. Oh, I said I presume we're going to pour this into there not heat the bag in there yes we're going to pour it in there yes yeah um so yeah basically what we'll do is we'll grab a pint glass and my recommendation is we pour like two and a half pints and put it in there so then we can pour out two pints and there's some dregs in the bottom kind of thing yes so uh right that cup's dead and has been there for two weeks so i'll put that in the kitchen uh, i see very well i will i will continue to unbox the cider Whoop. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yes. Very. Excellent. Exceedingly. Right. I'm going to zip down the chat again. Hello to everyone who showed up since the last time I said hello. Her. Um, oh, free gear. Sell it for retail and make the money. <laughs> well, we're going to keep it because Caradog wants to... Caradog's going to be race car driver. Yes. Um, or something so like yeah. that. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, because as, as some people who have been in the in the Discord will have seen, I am an excellent driver. I see. <laughs> have you have you done? Because yeah, like um, there there is an um, there is an exclusive uh, uh, voice chat in the Discord for the for the cool kids, and uh, okay. Caradog and a couple of others do regularly hang out there and stream games. Um, so yes, I take it you've demonstrated your incredible driving there. Oh, it smells good. I see. I'm going to smell it in a moment. Um, I can smell cider. your clothes. Oh, oh wow! I can. Yeah, clothes. Mm. I thought you said I can smell your clothes. Then I'm just like, pardon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be rude about it, but you know. <laughs> have you been camping oh. this week? That does. Uh, yeah, that's 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 potent. Yes, we have got an induction compatible pot. I bought it especially. Doo -doo -doo. Um, not the only one who heard clothes there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, that's two pints. Uh, yes, I was going to go. I would. Oh yeah, just do a token gesture extra bit. Yeah. And then yeah. be like. Yeah, I should have bought the bigger pot. I I did a. Huh. I obviously my maths was wrong. Or what I tell you what might have happened actually is when I was standing in Tesco and I was like, should I get the bigger one or the smaller one? I did a very quick. Um, uh, I did a very quick. Whatever the, whatever the measurement it said. Oh yeah, it's, it said like, x many fluid ounces or something like that. Oh no, liters it was. And oh, I was okay. like, oh liters to pints, and it was just like, oh yeah, this is three and a half pints. I'm like, oh that's perfect. However, that must be like three and a half points brimming kind of yeah, thing. Probably. So yeah, that's obviously resulted in slightly less usable. Either way, that'll do fine. Uh, cool. I have no idea. Ah, yes. Right, so I've no idea what I'm going to doing. I'm just going to turn it on and apply some heat. Uh, the one thing I have heard, according to the um, according to the reviews of this, it does do a uh, its method of uh, heat control is just to turn on and off periodically. Oh, I see. Um, not not. <laughs> so apparently, this can cause problems because if you're trying to just keep a source warm, for example, it just goes. 
boiling nothing boiling nothing boiling nothing ah yeah um, however because we've got a big pot of fluid i'm hoping we're not going to have that problem so oh, yeah. power on um right what's max that's a nine. Oh, i'm gonna i'll put that on five yes um I'll get the thermal camera just so we yes. can see if anything is happening. I think we should. Um, I was going to, unfortunately, I was going to get a K-type thermocouple so we could be nerds and have a, a multimeter with a temperature probe sticking in there. But I can't find my thermocouple, so F. And the only ones I have are for motherboards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably with 10-year-old paste on them. No, they're brand new, still in the little plastic thing. Ah, very good. Because I keep all of my accessories in, plas in the little plastic thing. Understandable. You know, and just like the little plastic bit over the VRMs and, you know, and the scratch-up plastics, you know. <laughs> Iron red. Oh. Oh, there's the default, yeah. Why does that seem... Oh, I, this app looks like it's updated and is not doing what I'm expecting it to. Can we have... Whatever, it seems to be working. Uh, hmm. I just... Hmm... Have you disabled auto-rotate on your phone? Yeah, but like, it didn't used to behave that way. Uh, auto-rotate on. Why does my device not auto-rotate when I rotate it with auto-rotate? But on? the Infrared app specifically <laughs> didn't used to behave this way. I'm just going to restart the app. Either way, that, that's doing stuff, I think. Yes. Oh, come on. Use the... That's picture in picture. Whatever. It's getting hot. That's the important thing. Yes. Wow, look at that. You can see the detail. Oh, man. I wish we had the... Um, I wish we'd gotten the, the overhead cam set up for this. There's probably still time. Hold that. Because that looks awesome, man. That looks well cool. It looks well cool, in it? I want to get... Whoops. I want to get a setup where... Um, uh, we can directly capture the um, the uh, thermal camera because you can actually plug that into Windows and Windows will see it as a webcam. You just don't get all of the benefits of the app. But yeah, the reason why I'm excited is you can see the convection currents in the fluid, which looks really cool. I have at the very least taken a photograph. Aha, good. There will be evidence of me being excited about things warming up. Oh, that's hold on. I'm that's going starting to... to gallop. I'm turning that down to minimum because we don't want to boil it. Bench cam. Uh, stand by for bench cam. All right, and I'm just going to align. Hold on, starting the, start the app. Uh, other way. Whoops, that's there as far we go. As it will go. Right, move your hand to the left. There you go, just so it's actually on shot. There you go. Well, there you go. You can see it's actually doing stuff. That's kind of cool. I think that's cool. I'm excited. Yes, this there is, we go. This is the height of excitement on this podcast is... Uh, watching, mm. watching thermal mm. currents in cider as it heats up. Yes. Looks like the sun's surface. It does. It's cool. It's very annoying because it's 90 degrees see, off see of why real. I was getting frustrated? I was like, whatever it's trying to do, it's doing it wrong. There'll, there'll be a way of fixing that. That's exceedingly confusing. Yeah. It, like, so I need to view it from this end yeah. like this it did this to me one time when i was reviewing it and i did fix it and it was just like a setting a rotation setting somewhere so somewhere i've just mashed a setting in the app but i can't be bothered to find that right um what temperature is that actually at oh one second loading still loading it is at i don't know how do you get it to tell oh, you point. point 25 apparently 32. I'm going to say 30. All right. I think that's gone to sleep where I've turned it down because it was starting yes. to boil and it stopped doing that now. I'll put that up to three to get it going. Because like we're not supposed to boil it. We're just supposed to warm it up. So. Oh, 
What happens if I push the lock button? That is now locked and doesn't do anything. Oh, the power button still works if the if you've got it on lock. That's interesting. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, we're going for three. All right. Ah, okay, right. Getting back to the chat again. You need a professional setup. Let me guide you. <laughs> um. Oh, that's the saucepan lid. Okay. Because it's so reflective. No, because oh. the view is so rotated to compare to what it thinks it is. You have no. I, you can't figure I out what it is. I cannot yeah. left, right, up, down <laughs> in the image. Yeah. Um, all right. Okay, that's there we go. That's starting point. to come back. That's starting. That's come back to life again now. Yes, forty-ish. All right, that's probably good enough. What's yes. drinking temperature? Yeah, I could say I would stop at that point. Yeah. All right. Let's let's take a stop on that then. What I will do is I will just see if the app is in the same configuration because I have it installed on here. All right. Yeah. 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 Which there if is, it isn't. <clears throat> there is an option somewhere in there for rotation. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. My one has rotated correctly. Yeah. The, I've I've mashed something in there. Uh, go. Good. Right. Uh, are we going to use a funnel or are we going to just be a hero and pour it? Um, We've got multiple funnels. <clears throat> there was one over here that I had on hand, but it's disappeared. But now there are many more. The, the smallest funnel is not going to be helpful. I can see where you're going with this. Uh, right. I believe that one's the largest. That's also really grubby, so I'm going to... Uh, this one is the one that's actually been used and has had tap water through it. Oh, yeah, that's just tap water. That'll do. Let's use that one. Ah, there we go. The thing turned off, and it's now nice and quiet again. Uh, all right, I'm going to do it. Here we go. May I suggest being very slow? Je refuse. <laughs> That'll do. I'm just going to assume that this is warm enough. I probably should have actually like sampled it first. Hang on a sec. Yes, the saucepan is at 55-ish C. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's warm. 45, so. yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, right, now that, I'm just going to go back to face cam because there we go. Uh, this is the most expensive cider I've ever drunk because I bought a pot and an induction hob just for this moment. Although that induction hob, that was 35 quid on Amazon. It's not bad. Yeah. And that, that's, that's why I bought the cheap one, because I was like, you know what, for 35 quid, let's find out if it's any good, because if it works, that's a heckin' bargain, man. The thing I'm interested in seeing, as we've got the thermal camera here, <clears throat> is... Oh, how hot the surface is. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's beeping, because there's nothing on yeah. it. Yeah. That's and the surface is cooling down. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's cool. good that it can detect that there's nothing yeah. on it. So yeah, it does actually have some safety features then. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. You can return it after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, you want it to replace your... Um... My actual cooker <coughs> at home, which yeah. is crap and doesn't work. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, this is agreeable. I... um. I haven't had mulled cider that much, but yeah, no, I, I rate that one. I think the last time I had it, it was a bit sweeter than this one. But also, my throat isn't 100% at the moment, which is damaging my ability to taste. I would say this is a smidgen too hot. That might be the issue, is it just needs to be slightly cooler. Yeah. Like, it's, it's perfectly drinkable, but this is like, uh, this is a hot drink, not a warmed drink yeah. kind of thing. Are you thinking of getting my cooker replaced? Probably at some point, because um, when my landlord put up the rent, I said to them, if you put up the rent, I'm going to find things that are wrong. 
um, and now the now the cooker is broken, I'm going to be like, cool, can you replace my cooker, please? If you hadn't put up the rent, I probably wouldn't have said anything, but here we both are, you know. Not bad. Hmm, yeah. This is this is agreeable. I'm glad we did this properly because, like, you we could you could have drunk this cold, but I think it would have been a bit weird. I'm go I want I'm going to. What try some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should do. I think we should have a little bit cold. That's a good idea. Just so we can just so we can drink or some. Be like room temperature. Yeah, yeah. Because I have a feeling that which it in will here be... is eight to twelve C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I I think we'll drink some. Be like it tastes nice, but this really needs to be warm. Mm. Um, so yeah. Either way, that was I think that was a roaring success. Yeah. It was the fact of how long was it? Two minutes. Yeah, that was really quick. Yeah. 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 It's basically the same speed as a kettle. I guess. Yeah. Which is yeah. which is obviously. Good. It'd be interesting to drag race that against a kettle, actually, just with yeah. a pot of water, just like put it on full tilt. Yeah, that would be very interesting to know. Hmm. Yes, because I don't use my cooker that much because the hob because it's got ceramic hobs that take about ten minutes to change temperature, mm. um, and yeah. with some I'm so used to I'm so used to just gas. gas everything. Yeah, whereas with that, you know, if I just put a if I just stick that on top of the cooker and just use that instead, I'll probably find myself actually doing more hob cooking because yeah. I have a hob that doesn't suck. Yeah, you know. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, yeah, exactly. As Sai says, his induction hob on power boost can boil a litre of water in seven seconds. Wow. That's yeah. pretty quick, yeah. Yeah, because also his is like a proper actual cooker. Mm. So it's on a cooker fuse, a cooker oh, ring, yeah. which so will be a... Dumping five kilowatts into it. will be a um, 30 amp one. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Yeah, because it seems hard to imagine that something could be faster than a kettle, but induction is theoretically, well, vastly more efficient than even a kettle is. So, because kettles are already pretty damn efficient, which is why the yeah. design hasn't changed in decades. Yeah. But yeah. Hmm. Excellent. Yeah, it'll be a thirty amp on the thirty-three amps. Um. This is really nice. This is actually soothing my throat very nicely. Mm. Yeah. Mate, well, I, I've been. That's, that's, that's what you, you know, that's why you drink hot drinks it in 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 winter. Mm. You know, for the constant medicinal alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> a terribly sore throat. I've told you the. I don't care now. I've told you the story about my dad and the fire water, but I can't remember if I've told it on stream before or not. <laughs> I think not. so. Yeah. Yeah, I think you said it when we got the throat cut. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll save people the story again then. But yeah. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Right. Efficient doesn't equal power. Okay. Mm. Yeah, this is true. This is true. However, also induction is just extremely efficient because um, it puts the power directly into the thing you're trying to heat. Like, As opposed to gas that heats uh, yeah. in 360 degrees. Yeah, that's the problem with ga or the gas. the ceramic ones which heat in 360 degrees. Yeah. Gas pumps out vast amounts of thermal energy, so it's extremely fast. But half of the half of the heat that it's producing is just going up the sides of the pot instead of actually going into the pot. Whereas induction, by definition, puts all yeah. well, apart from losses in the conversion, yeah. it's putting all of its energy directly into the pot. So yeah, yeah, and because it's going actually into the bottom of the pot, the bottom of the pot is getting mm. hot. Which then means that everything that's in the pot can get hot, and mm. obviously anything that's touching the bottom of the hot pot gets hot as well. But that's less stuff. Yes, it's clever. Good, it's good. I like it. Right. Um, okay. Should we pour out the last little bit of that, and then I'll yeah. take this down because we're probably not going to do another run of this until maybe later. Yeah. However, given how straightforward that was, that was really quick and easy, so we could just yeah. do more. Yeah. The other benefit you get as well is obviously you don't get the soot on the bottom of the pan. Uh, yeah. From gas, just because every now and then you get a slightly dodgy burn on the gas and you get a sooty bottom. I hate a sooty bottom personally, but yeah. Yeah. Um, very well. Anyway, uh, right, I'll put that over here. Yes. Whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm going to wash this out before we put the <laughs> before we put the cider water, even in trace amounts, inside a custard loop. Yes, because uh, it's... 
The concept of cooling your PC with water, uh, the concept of cooling your PC with cider is extremely funny in theory, but in practice what actually is going to happen is a shit ton of sugar is just going to clog up your pump. So no, do not. And you'll get <laughs> filled with microbes. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Cool. That's a solid purchase. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it, yeah. might, it might break in a week, but you know. But then you just return it. Yeah, that's it. At face value, though, the cheapest induction hob on Amazon is not too shabby. Absolutely. So, yeah. Good. Right. I'm going to start handing up boxes. Cool. I'm going to move the camera slightly. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just plonked it wherever. Um, I'm going to go slightly over here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Let's just see. so it's not covering all of yeah, the we'll Yeah, we'll stay on face and we'll, we'll use it if we feel like we need it. Uh, right, I'm going to put that there. Does it heat up faster if you use thermal paste? <laughs> it does not, however. Very funny. Hmm. Um, yes. Right. There are many much boxes. Yeah, where do you want to start? This one, because I have my hands on it. Okay. Uh, Give me a Kinef. Right, okay. I'll let you get on with this. Absolutely. Right. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, uh, right. Def Gamer has a question. Uh, those sound blocks on the walls, are they worth the investment? Uh, yeah, so the, the soundproof tiles, yeah. Um, so uh, let's see. Will it stop sound transmission through the floors if I'm on the lower floor? So they stop echo and it's going to dampen high frequency sound. Um, but. It's not going to do anything about bass. So low, low frequency rumble and bass explosions and stuff like that, I doubt they're going to do anything about that whatsoever. So if you're trying to soundproof, you're probably going to need more than those tiles. They will help, um, but they're not going to do that. We have them in here because it kills the echo, um, because otherwise this is a large-ish room with stone walls, and there will be a large amount of echo. Like. Um, I th I'm not sure if there are any that are actually published, but when I first moved into the shop, there are one or two videos, uh, and certainly there is, um, when I was setting up in the shop, when I was building the counter, there are there is a video of me where just the, sh the room is empty and I'm building the counter, and there's so much echo, the sound is garbage, even though it's the same kind of mics that I always use kind of thing. Um, and this just solved all of that. Um, so they do work, but they're not soundproofing. They're not going to stop the explosion of a. They're not going to stop movie action movie explosions from rumbling through the floor and annoying your neighbours. Mm. Um, that requires um, soundproofing, which is a whole thing that I do not know much about. So, yeah, um, if you're trying, if you're treating your room for echoes so you sound better on a microphone, yes, it's going to help you a lot. If you're trying to stop sound from escaping the room, no, that's there's a bit more to it than that. So yeah. Hmm. Serious question. What if you use a, a mix of alcohol and water in a cooling loop? I mean, if yeah. you're using like straight ethanol or something yeah. like that, you will functionally just lose performance because the ethanol has a lower thermal capacity than water. Yeah. So it's a case of there is no reason you would do it. You would use some sort of glycol. Um, biocide mix. Mm. There have been people who have used oh. um, people have used alcohol and by extension ethanol um, in like car cooling systems because it has a lower freezing point. So if you've got a car that's going to cold places then it's going to help you out. Um, however in, in a computer obviously um, I suppose you could argue that if you were doing sub-zero water cooling yeah. If then, you're going sub-zero then yes absolutely. Yeah. The However, is different. Yeah. But if you're working in ambient temperatures, a la, um, but you know, between ten and hundred, then no, just um, straight water is always going to be the best. Um, and you that would then have additives just to stop the water going nasty. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Pedals. Cool. So what have we got so far? We've got the table clamp for the motor. Um, we've got the steering wheel boss, which is like 
the stem of the steering wheel. Is it called yeah. a Boss? So this is a quick release adapter. Ah, very cool. So, yeah, this is a quick release adapter in this mm. box. Um, there is a table clamp there that will actually take the direct drive motor unit and hold it on the table. Yeah. That looks like the pedal kit, dangerously. That's the pedals. Yeah. Do you want more boxes or are you going to start opening yeah. stuff? Yep. Yeah, I'm let's yeah, we'll get it all out of the brown boxes. Got. Yeah. Oh, oh, this one's heavy. This is going to be the motor. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that's 6.9 kilos. Yeah, Apparently. it wasn't devastating, just considering how light everything else yeah. was. I was just like, oh, there's the weight one, you know. Might want to cover the box labels for various reasons. Uh, it's a bit too late for that, but... Uh, there is nothing on them. Yeah, I mean, uh, all of the addresses Fash. and stuff are all shop address, which is public information, so... Ugh. That's the wheel itself. Oh, yes, it's, yeah. This one I'm going to open. Aha, because it's shiny things. Oh. One. Two. What's behind you, says the box. Doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rock solid, heart touching. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where did Caradog and I meet for the first time? We met, um, <clears throat> um, we have a mutual friend who was running a, uh, an internet cafe uh, in the next town over um, and uh, we met there. Um, and so yeah, we, we, we were hanging out there for, for while that project was alive and well and we've just sort of been in contact okay. ever since. That looks cool, man. Is this life-sized? Roughly. Damn. I believe so. Yeah, it's it's smaller so, than yeah. I expected? Roughly, yeah. Yeah. It, it depends, because obviously, like, for Formula 1, each team has a different yeah. wheel and so on, but this is approximately... Yeah. Like, I would hope it's life-sized, because this is supposed to be simulator equipment, but... Oh, my God. Are they really heavy? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Oh yeah, it, well they're, they're Hall Effect magnetic latching, <laughs> so like the, these paddles on the back of them, they're, they're not micro switches, they're, they're magnetic with Hall Effect sensors, so when you pull it, it goes bang, it goes you know, it's like, it, that, that, that is, it, it's difficult to describe how those feel, but because it's magnets, they are very you, heavy. there's no spring action, it's just you press until the magnet lets go and then it just goes bang onto the other end. So it's just <laughs> chack, 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 chack. You know, there's no, there's no magnetic mush. Sorry, there's no spring mush to it. It's just on, off, on, off, you know. Yeah. So you're just going... Tick, 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 tick. That's well cool. Um, I'll position the, uh, the, the, the bench cam so we can yeah. give a, a glory shot of that. Um, I'm just going to... I'll have to move it across to the middle a bit because it just it has to look down, basically. So. Yeah. What time is it? 20 past. Okay, that's not too bad. It feels like an actual racing car. Yeah, I mean, this is, um, yeah, I mean, this is serious sim gear. Like, I'm not experienced with Ooh. sim gear at all. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it, hmm. it okay. I think that's why I'm excited for this, is it's, it's a chance to actually learn a thing or two about actual proper simulator gear. Not top end simulator gear, like the, the sky's the limit on the price for this kind of thing, but at least something that be, could be classed as simulator setup, not an arcade setup kind of thing, you know, hmm. or at least the beginning of a simulator setup, because, you know, there's going to be someone that's just like, actually, and it's like, yeah, 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 I know, you can, you can spend 10,000, and I'm sure you did, but, um, yeah. let's see. That's cool, I like that. Bench cam with face. I'm pleased I went with this wheel over the standard one. What would the standard one have been? Um, I can't remember I'll have to see if a Fanatec website functions there's those magnetic um, paddles yeah I can't remember what the standard one was um, oh I think the standard one was this one 
Oh, yeah. So it yeah. didn't have these That's switches. That's got significantly less dials and yeah, knobs on it. Yeah, it didn't have these switches. Um, and also, it didn't have... Doesn't have those the Xbox jogs buttons. as well. It yeah. doesn't have the actual, like, Xbox buttons here. Yeah, it's got legally distinct buttons. And then it doesn't have these. Yeah. So, yeah. Also, so was, is that going to be an OLED screen, or is that going to be a seven segment? A, I think there's a little display in there. Yeah, because, like... I'm not sure what type of display the, it is. The cheaper wheel has a triple-digit seven-segment display, but that... That yeah. looks like an OLED to me. Yeah, also just the like the rev. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Bit is slightly different. Yeah, it's got nice. It, it, it's got like shaped bits. Yeah, instead of just, instead of just the, LEDs. The top of the LED. Yeah. So yeah, it's got little bits on it. Yeah. But, yeah, that's cool. Nice. All right. And then this should Time be the actual Time for cube. Motor. Yes. This is going to have like power supplies and stuff like that in it, I would expect as well. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> uh, Glacier so says, I just received yesterday from one friend of Fanatec BMW M3 GT2 wheel. And he's like, bro, I was thinking too, I'm ordering a wheel with my car. Yeah. 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 Like that, that is super cool. Like, as I say, I'm not a wheel expert. I've had a couple in the shop include, like I've had cheap Logitech stuff, I've had mid-range Thrustmaster stuff, and now this is high-end Fanatec stuff. And like, this is a cut above everything I've I've looked at up until now. But again, that's not saying much box. because I'm not an expert, you know. Wow, that was a lot of padding in that, but then I guess because it's got the weight, they want to give it crush space, don't they? Yeah. Um, right, shall I move the pedals? Every driver has their limit. Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's the delivery time. See, this is really funny to me because you know how, like, in a lot of people's streams, if they're struggling, like, when someone is playing a racing game and they and they're struggling, I'm, I, I will usually be that guy who says in the chat, try not to, try not to fall off the circuit, kind of thing. You know, try to drive around without hitting anything. It's like, yes, that's that's generally the objective, you know. My limit is further than others. <laughs> that's just. That's just the crocodile thing. You don't have to outrun the crocodile, just your mate, you know? <laughs> there's, there's a... Um, uh, Stickers! There's a, Sonic, there's a Sonic kart racer called Sonic All-Stars Racing. And uh, in that one, uh, all the characters have various catchphrases for like when they win and stuff like that. And Tails, when you win a race, one of his lines is, It's a race to the finish! It's like, yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's generally how this works, you know? Yeah. Uh, part of what I want to do is I want to see if using some um, electronic wizardry mm. we can replace this switching power supply Interesting. with the higher powered version. Oh, what? And if, if it's a limit on the, the box or the it power is, supply? It yeah. is. Because oh, really? you can buy an upgrade power supply mm. that unlocks the higher torque mode of the motor. Oh, that's a bit gross, because I remember that was a thing, that there was two versions of it, and that's, just... a, that's a bit gross that is just a limit of the power supply, because, like, the power supply isn't expensive. I love the fact that they've literally just used the fourth pin, like, mini fit, and I'm like, you could have just used the barrel jack. Well, there's probably... This is not uncommon, and this is probably because it wants to make sure it's got a nice, solid connection, because the barrel jack is not a good connector. It's just easy but it's not a good connector. The actual contact, surface contact patch on barrel jack connectors is awful, yeah. you know? And like, they, they wobble about, they fall out easily. It's just not a good connector. So it kind of doesn't surprise me to see that. But also, because that is just mini fit, that also means we, there is a good chance that we could, we could sacrifice an old power supply and probably just run this off a bench power supply or something like that. And then we can just, we can just dump five amps into it, you know? Yeah. So, Although yeah. that is a ninety watt supply, so I'm oh yeah, that's not that. that's not too shabby already. Um, <clears throat> Def Gamer says, just noticed the box with the shop's name on the shelf behind. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, as well, we need to do the other one. But oh, um, there's there's shins. two of these. Uh, I'll shout them out just because gifts to the shop. Um, but yeah, these were um, uh, these are LED signs, and this one we actually did a uh, we actually did a lipo mod to it. So if I power it on. It does the, the RGBs, which is hard to see under the studio lights, but it lights up and it does RGB and you can change the colours on it and stuff. So yeah. 
I need to uh, I need to do the other one and take it home again. So I usually have it in the background behind my Twitch streams. So yeah, but yeah, they're super cool. They're all three D printed. They're they're really good. You know. Ah. Right. Whoop. All right. That's a. Oh, phwar. Phwar. That's that's a foie. That <laughs> that is. It's literally just a moto, isn't it? So yes, this is um, uh, this one. If you had the high power power supply, is a is approximately a break your wrists. I think it, I think driver, it does nine it? newtons with the with the upgrade. Yeah, which, five newtons without it. Yeah, and that that I believe is not as high as you can go, but pretty savage. Yeah, because you can get like the podium base, um, which God, is another fifteen hundred quid. Yeah, which yeah. is another step up again. Yeah. But yeah, I guess at that yeah. point you're getting into realms of this is for training actual race car drivers kind of territory there. Certainly getting up there. Yeah, because yeah. that's the thing is when you're when you're looking when you're looking at simulator gear, the low end is still savage, and the high end is this is actual like for building actual simulator rigs kind of thing. So yeah. Oh yeah, it can. This can go up to twelve newtons. Mm. Very good. Which is wild. Cool. Um, right. So yeah. Groovy. I'm going to basically suggest, let's see if we can work out how to get the table clamp onto the bottom of the motor. Yes. And, and we see also if we can get it to clamp onto the something. Yeah, we need to see if the table clamp will fit this bench. Um, now the problem is th this bench is too high because we can't. S um, well, I guess we could. It would just be sitting high. Um, like, well, I mean, we're not going to get a comfortable setup on this bench, but we will have something that functions. Yeah. And I think that's all we're actually aiming for at the moment, isn't it? So. Uh, are we going for the full racing sim chair setup or just a basic desk setup? I don't know. This is Caradog's kit, and he'll be taking it all home once we're done. So, what's your plan? Uh, I don't really have one at the moment. Yeah. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm just going to start and kind of see where I end up, really. It's yeah. just kind of what I actually want. Let's see. Output 24 volts, 3.75 amps. Yeah. Can you remember what the high power one is? No, I I don't actually yeah, know. But that's fair. Yeah. I think it's on the website if you look. Yeah. Yeah, because um, 24 volt output from a bench we can do. My supply goes up to 5 amps. I don't have a 10 amp one, but for the purposes of testing. Uh, would you be amenable to doing a full review slash documentary of the setup once you've got an idea what we're doing? Um, probably, because content, we're definitely doing a quote-unquote real review of this, and for the review, we will have it set up in okay. such a way that it's actually comfortable to use. Like, when I've done repairs to racing wheels in the past, I've just done a dirty setup where it's been not at all comfortable, but it demonstrates that the wheel works, you know. And that's kind of what we're going to end up with here today. Um, however, for the actual review, we'll, fi we'll find a table where we can actually do something that is comfortable and actually feels halfway good to use. Um, but uh, if Caradog does continue to build it up, then we'll probably do follow-ups to that. Um, because um, long term, I am looking to attract uh, manufacturers for sending other stuff. Um, so yeah. Like, um, because next year's, next year's YouTube strategy is to lean heavily into variety content, um, yeah. which is what the channel has always been about. I just haven't done a lot of variety lately. But um, I'm trying to maintain variety because otherwise I get pigeonholed into I'm a MacBook board repair specialist. And that limits what I can do because that's not something that I can keep knocking out week in, week out. Um, 
So I want to lean back into more of a, a variety channel that does a mixture of computer builds, gaming content, peripheral reviews, and repair stuff, you know. Jack of all trades, master of none, basically. So yeah, 180 watts for the high power one, yeah. Uh, six or seven amps. So yeah, we won't be able to do that off of my bench power supply. Oh no, um, it was more of a case of. But theoretically, at some point, yeah, we could probably try and we could probably try and pull that off. Failing that, there's not a doubt in my mind that someone on eBay is selling a um, a 180 watt power supply for this that doesn't cost the earth. That is the limitation of the table. Yeah. Um. We can probably set this up, but we're going to have to... Yeah. The monitors are not very... St yeah, we might have to move the monitors or something. We'll make it work first. Yeah. There you go. So that's kind of the desk lamp. Hmm. Which is Fair surprisingly enough. simple. Yeah, that seems to work quite well. They haven't overthought that because, like, anyone who is more serious than that is going to have a cage uh, or a, um, a frame. Yeah. So it's basically just a... Yeah. And the other thing that's quite nice is it just slides out. Yeah. So it's basically this piece of plastic with big rubber pads on it. Yeah. And then this piece of plastic with two smaller rubber bits with bits where it clicks mm. just to roughly hold it in place. Yeah. And then you can screw that all down with this. Fair enough. And that actually goes into here instead of onto the plastic. Yeah. So, that, so it's actually yeah. so the actual the, bottom plastic clamp is clamping this onto the table, not this. Yes. And this is just providing slip support effectively. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. When when reviewing the wheel, remember Triton VR. Yes, we will certainly be doing that because um, I mean I I am also interested in VR content and again. I want to attract VR manufacturers. Um, so yes, that will be the plan. I was going to bring my VR head. I was going to bring my VR headset in today, but I forgot. Um, and I said to Caradog earlier on, I forgot. Are we going to go back and get it? And he was like, Probably not. And I'm like, Yeah, we're not going to have time. I think we're going to have time to make this work. But um, yeah, we, we're not going to add in the complication of VR today. Um, because it, that also means setting up the VR headset for this and we're just not prepared. But that will be a thing in the review. We will do that because, um, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people who make sim setups um, usually end up just having a big TV in front of them. And, I, you know, like some people have done VR sim setups, but a lot of the big channels have ended up with um, TV setups. And I'm like, VR is clearly the way to go for this in my opinion so yeah and since we have access to a decent H a, a decent headset so yeah you got pico 4 last week it's immense there you go. Right. i'm uh, i'm going to start uh, well very slowly i'm going to start saving up to um start building up my vr setup some more okay um because i'm getting very annoyed with how bad the controllers are for my hp reverb but yeah, that's something I should consider doing actually, is just a, a review of my HP Reverb headset, just for practice, but yeah. Right. Hmm. Right. VR driving makes you very motion sick. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, for, so, some people just don't have VR legs, so that's understandable. Yeah, I can completely respect that. Aha. Uh. Uh, -huh. uh, cool, right. Uh, this should be the thing that actually, yeah, mounts the wheel on the front. Groovy. Tell me if you need anything, by the way. I'm just watching you yeah. do this at the moment. Um, we, the, the power needs to come up here. Okay. And also the USB will come out that way. Cool. Have you got a USB cable in there, there or do we need one? that oh yeah that looks suitably long doesn't it and the type oh, c an... is this end yeah that's a that's a reasonably nice cable isn't it like it's not like a nice braided one or anything but it's not the cheapest nastiest cable i've ever seen either so i always appreciate it when manufacturers include a nice cable 
That's good. That looks like it has nice action on it. Does this go on that end? Yeah, there's obviously some kind. I think it's going to go the other way around, actually. Oh no, I lie. Ignore me. I think that might need that to be. Out, I think that needs to be screwed onto this. That's like that. Yeah. There's um there's matching screws to put that yeah. onto the back, and I think that will make more sense once you've done that. Right. I'll get this guy connected up. Right. So the uh, the rig that we're plugging this into is sitting on the floor at the oh, moment. I it see. is the test bench. Oh, I see. And. Just as an interesting, it is the test bench with the 3080 from two, from the last stream in it as well, which hasn't gone out yet because um, we had some. I had some extra problems when I actually blocked it up. It stopped working um, and had the old problem again. So I lobbed it in the ultrasonic, and now it's come back to life again. So we want to do further testing on it. So we figure we may as well give it a, a thrashing today. And um, just to confirm, oh. there will actually be a, a, a main channel video about that graphics card repair when we're done. Um, oh, just right because now. I think it's an interesting, uh, well, kind of an interesting story anyway. Right, I want that that way. Uh, up. I need to find a figure of eight power lead. Is that right? Oh, that's not bad. It does come with an Allen key in the little baggie. One. One. Two. Set. Right. Oh, is that from there? No. Okay. This on the box. One, take out all the screws. Two, put in all the screws. <laughs> Three, make it red. I see. Take care for the electric pins of the of the steering wheel. Oh, Tom. Right. I'm just going to go full send on these. Do, do, do. Steve says, I don't get motion six, but GTA 5 with the VR mods makes you violently sick. That, yeah, that could be. I assume that that puts you in a first person perspective and everything. Oh! Yeah. I'm suddenly thinking third person VR. Yeah, I was going to say, because if it's doing third person, that's a no no. Um, GTA 5 has first person in it. Yes, yeah. Got enough cider there. Um, I have, yes, I do have enough cider. <laughs> what are you implying? Uh, I am, in fact, a cheap date, so just one pint is enough. Hmm. Not cars. Is that as in there's no first person mode for cars? There yeah. There is. Oh, uh, yeah. Not yeah. Well, it wasn't wasn't specified, but yeah. Is it that? Oh, is that a mod? I could yeah, I could have sworn that I'd seen. Yeah. People doing stuff in first person mode on like the role play servers, they force you. Yeah, maybe. Um. Oh, the t-shirts are car themed. I see. Yeah. There was some talk about uh, merch as well. Soon, oh. TM. It's not forgotten. Is it? I'm just terrible. Is it soon? Yes. On what scale? Yes. Are we talking soon in a geologic sense? Yes. The ice caps will not melt in the... This is an expedition. <laughs> um. this, no, this is an outrage. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, what was I thinking about? Right, you're setting that up. Oh, I was yes. I'm looking at the bench, thinking, what do I need to do to try and stabilise this bench, which is in no way prepared for what we're about to submit it to. I'm also to. surprised how far out it does kick out a lot, is. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
Not that it particularly matters, but if anything, that's probably a good thing because, like, if you were setting up a rig, you're going to want to be sitting back in a racing chair, aren't you? Yeah. So that's that actually seems fairly sensible to me. Cool. Um, okay, so... Um, right, so we can move the drinks off of the bench. I'm going to grab a box and just scoop all of the loose bits and put them in the box so there's nothing else, so we can remove everything from the bench. Um, I'm going to move this monitor back onto the, onto the streaming computer shelf so this monitor doesn't wobble. And then the AOC monitor, um, I could swap that out with a monitor that's got a better base on it. Um, just so there's less wobble there. Um, or the other option, yeah, no, the, I was going to say we could get the little dining table, but I don't think the clamp is going to fit on the dine. The clamp isn't going to fit onto the little di little little dining table, so that's not going to work either. There you go. Right. I'm just waiting for this to, to when you power it on, it will calibrate itself and it will just it will spin around, and go. Bonk, and just knock the monitors off the bench. <laughs> Where are the pedals? Uh, the pedals are here. Ah, good. Okay. Um, good, because right. I think we're done with that. So those. I'm going to lob all of this in the box. There should be three of those black screws, one silver one, I think. There are two plus one plus a plastic thing. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Good, that's fine. Good, that's fine. Yes. And the next thing we'll be going through and working out how you can basically remove half of the boxes. Mm. That's the thing, of course, is because this is a modular kit, everything yeah. is just separately packed, yeah. which makes sense. Yeah. And yeah. So obviously there are like eight different wheel, actual wheels you mm. can get in this. Oh, it's it's cool. All the button, all the buttons and knobs feel nice. <laughs> Why did I walk over here? I was gonna, I was gonna get a small box to get all the little bits and pieces. Would you like a small box? Right, I have something. I don't want to use any of your boxes, just so okay. we instantly know that any of the Fanatec boxes are you. Okay, right. Ah. Uh. Goodbye, Sai. Have fun at your music thing. Very well. well also, yes, as, as, as Sai does the shell. Do the Twitch. Oh, yeah. There will be the Twitch. <laughs> More stickers. Huzzah. A pedal. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. You, I think you can swap out the um, blocks in mm. these as well, so you get different feel. Oh, okay, that's cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Neato. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. So you just bolt them on where you, where you want them and stuff. That's cool. So are the pedals identical? Oh, that's obviously set up as a throttle, isn't it? Yeah. I see. Yeah, because like, the brake pedal also, obviously... It's also much thinner. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. There is a yes. There is a distinct brake and throttle pedal there. My only concern is this doesn't have a cable, and this one does. Ah. So I'm like, I hope there's a cable in here. That looks like a cable in there. That would be unfortunate. Uh. Oh yeah, and then there are some screws. Okay, I'm going to put that in my pocket. I'm going to migrate your glasses somewhere else. Right. Uh, on the box, the pedal box. Which I threw over here. Is there anything resembling instructions? No. No. That's fine. It is the quick start guide there. Okay. Just because on the, on the collar, on the quick release, mm. they put the instructions on the box. Ah, interesting. Which makes sense, because it means they don't have to print one of these. Yes. A. Right. Uh, is this water and coffee dead? 
Uh, I will. I will. Yep. Make um, them so. Yes, I'm just preemptively simplifying because um, this is less than ideal, so I'm preparing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Absolutely. Right, that can go, that can go, that can go, that can go. All right, can I make that this can work? Go Ooh. as well. All right. Oh, there's so much packing. Yes. <laughs> Just keep making a horrifying pile. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Hopefully this isn't going to mess up the sound. Oh. It shouldn't. What? On the side label fan attack, put the thing which is already on there. I see. Well, that was easy. Oh, no. Put the, put the thing over the thing? The thing doesn't go over the thing. Okay. I will ignore right. that step. Migrating the screen down to here. Oh. Put that on there like that. That'll do. All right. I. Mm. All right. Can we swap places? Thank you. Not really. <laughs> I slowly. Just slowly overtaken the bench. Yes. All right. Okay, there we go. I've got one of the screens off the bench, so yeah, this is much better. Now we've got uh, a lot more control here. All right. Okay, I don't know what those see. do, so I'm going to get rid of them for now. Mm -mm -mm. Right, they go on like that. All right. That is working. And I'm finally, I'm going to get a different screen, which has a actual base on it and not a, not a stiletto. Um, um ah, see. there. Don't worry, I was looking, I was like, there should be screws. Where are the screws? Where have they gone? I'll use this Dell, I think. Ah, conveniently, that's not plugged in. Right, what do you take? You need one of those. All right. Hopefully it will take the HDMI. Yes, uh, I was checking what power it took. Oh, I see. That, that. Ooh. Right, thanks for bearing with us, everyone. This is a, one of those dry moments where we just have to do a lot of setting up. This is one of the reasons why a lot of YouTube channels, when you watch them, everything that you're seeing, they have already done a dry run of the entire thing before you watch them do it, just so they knew all of this in advance. We do not have the facility for that. Huh. There you go. So instead, you get to watch me moving a load of cables around. <laughs> but this is the process. Um, who put all these boxes here? <laughs> Damn it, UPS. <laughs> right. Right, I'm going to switch down to the bench cam so people can see what you're doing. These are somewhat tight, yes. So, the pedals have these four little tabs which go through these holes in this plate and you can then basically put these wherever you want in that plate. As I'm only going to have two pedals I'm probably going to put them reasonably close to the middle. Yeah, right. gonna go I'm intentionally going what I think will be slightly too wide for the pedals yeah just because I'm wearing you know big dress shoes oh yeah yeah you got big old flat boys on and it's just the case I'm just like I'm not too fussed if this is slightly uncomfortable I just don't want to clop things with yeah each other 
legitimately a problem I had with the last time I was using a set of racing pedals was um, um, I kept hitting uh, I kept hitting the clutch instead of the brake pedal. <laughs> oh, yeah, this has no clutch pedal. So yeah, Cause you you can get clutch pedals for this setup. Um, but I was like, well, no, I mean, it's... I don't need one because no. everything I do is um, all of the all of the racing I do is formula stuff. Yeah. Is like Formula One, Formula Two. You're not going to be racing classic cars with a manual shift, are you? Like the at, and like the closest you might get to that is like if you wanted to do rally, and even then you're going to have a sequential lever instead of a H shifter. Yeah, and like I guess you and like. Even then, modern rally cars, they have a sequential lever, but they're mostly using it with a, um, a paddle on the back of the steering wheel anyway. Yeah. Yes, yes. Right, I presume... The massive, uh, the massive lever you'll see in a rally car is the handbrake. Right, that goes in something like that. There we go. All right, that should be a monitor that's got, okay, it's, the table is still not very stable, but that is significantly more stable than the AOC is. I'll put that vaguely in front of the wheel. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. It turns off. Yes, I was going to say, I also <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> it's not fine. It's not fine. Right. Wheel base. All right. Base. Buttery biscuit base. Huzzah. Right. All right. Unscrew, unscrew, untwist, unwind. Be gone. Ugh. Right. I'm just going to drop that off the side here. Okay. Cool. Boop. <sighs> right. Pedals. USB. Watch your arm when you plug it in, just in case it centers itself. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> My legs are okay. <laughs> 10,000 points to anyone who understood that reference. Have you put the power into this power brick? Yes, yes, there is power to the to the thing. There's also whatever that is there. Yeah, that's fine. I was just making sure that. Yes, it should be powered on though. Yeah. There you go. No fanatech device found. All right. Ah, there we go. You guys can't see anything at the moment because the monitor is hiding it. There you go. It has detected that it is the CSLDD, that is correct. And it centred itself, so. Uh, right, I'm going to, let's see. Um, we're going on an adventure, oh, everyone. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's significantly more degrees of rotation than I was expecting. Yeah. I was expecting it to limit you to about here. Oh, I see, yeah. But it can, in fact... I assume that the game will, allow, will be able to put in a limit if it desires. I presume so. Yeah, right. There is the tiniest bit of feedback on here. Huh. Um, right. I no steering wheel detected. Oh, that's not going to go down. All right, hold on. I did not think this through, everyone. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. All right, I'll put this, put this here. I have done that the correct way around. Go there. There we 
we go. I haven't plugged it in far enough. Aha, okay. Right. Unlock. Transform. Aha. Flip. Good. Ah. Oh, it's a two-stage joystick. That's pretty snazzy. Right. Sorry for the crotch cam, everyone, but this is just the the, the view of the steering wheel. So, there you go. right. There is indeed an OLED. Oh, yeah. It says... <laughs> <laughs> right. That's for four. <laughs> OLED display test. Oh, there you go. Neat. Um, all right. So, um, e are we going through the capture card? Yeah, we are. So, yes. we, uh, let's go capture with face. And let's go... All right. Let's update all and brick it. All right, so what are you doing, firmware update? Yes. I see. Please do a firmware update for your motor. Very good. Uh, right. Uh, okay, right. It's over there, I see. I'm going to actually take the wheelie chair. Yes, I was going to say, we have two stools, but I don't think you'll want a stool. Um, wheelie chair. Oh, uh, yes. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, we weren't on that camera. Okay, right. You're not going to be able to push the pedals from a wheelie chair. Oh, that's not going to work. I know, it's about the right level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess it's this is proof of concept after all, isn't it? Oh, I'm... I'm... You're going barefoot. Oh, yeah. Kind Feet of cam. also, also yeah. kind of because I don't want to... Crash the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to all tuning menu. That cable. Blah 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 blah. This will boot into an Xbox One. What? I see. <laughs> Do you want to disconnect the USB? Blah 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 blah. Right, that cable is hooked out the way. Excellent. Um, right. Shall I get one of the little dining table chairs? I think that's going to work better. Uh, we can try it. Yeah, because like the moment you try and push the pedal, you're going to just push yourself backwards. I mean, that's reasonably good because there's little resistance and my heels are on the plate. Mm. This is okay. All right. We will, we will give this a go. I'm just going to put this here. Yes. And I'm sure at some point you're just going to silently stand up and then switch the chairs over. Whee! All right, the chair, the, the wheel is centering itself. Let's go to bench cam with face. In both menus, press. In menu, press both sticks. Right. Switch from Xbox One mode to PC mode by pressing that and that. Okay. I'm PC going to mode. increase the height of the screen. So you don't have to look around the wheel. <laughs> Next. Steering wheel is not attached. What? Cross both sticks. Right. Um, if I turn that on, oh, where's that going to appear? There. All right, stand by, everyone. Look at that multi-view. I don't know what else qualifies as a stick. No. No. Hmm. Um. PC mode, yes. Yeah. The wheel is currently saying um, calibrate, and it's saying press in menu, press both sticks. And there are two sticks on the wheel, but pushing those in seems to do nothing. What if you press them in a direction? Nope. I'm going to Google search it. Uh, Fanatec, whoops, Fanatec, 
I am very much. And you press both sticks. All right, Google started auto-completing <laughs> that. It's never a good sign. Okay, yeah. R slash Fanatec. What do when it says Cal in menu press both sticks? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, someone with the same wheel, same issue. <laughs> Top result. I had this happen to me. I can't remember how I fixed it, sorry. <laughs> right. Look at the center calibration section of the quick guide here. Uh, right. Press the joystick and the funky switch as instructed in the manual. Okay. I'm going to get the manual open. Loading the manual, everyone. Uh, right, so center calibration. I'm searching for that. Center. Center calibration, right. So, if center calibration is needed after firmware update, when using the steering wheel, you need to press the tuning button as highlighted on the picture below. If okay, so have... the tuning button is that one there. Um, so, hang on. Um, if you have other wheels, such as the following, Formula V2, we can have a... Where's it left? Right. You need to press the tuning button as highlighted on the picture to enter the tuning menu. When the tuning menu is active, press the analog stick and the funky switch, which are the two sticks, simultaneously to calibrate the wheel center. Okay, that says C set, so that's done something. Done. Okay. All right. That seems to have done something. Please may you put your hand there just because yep. the table is not. Right. I'm going to have to stand up for this. Mm -hmm. There we go. OK. That's definitely detected. Right, yeah. I'm just going to say finish on that and say, no, I'm not updating any other wheels, and I'm going to see what's on there. OK. Right. Fair enough. Right, I'm going to head back to chat. Sorry, chat, I've been yeah. uh, troubleshooting. There we go. Right. Right. The tuning um, menu will be reset. Yeah, that's fine. <coughs> All the data will be reset to defaults. Yeah, that's fine. All right. The software does look like it's fairly comprehensive, just yeah. in some places not particularly well worded. Oh yeah, there's a flashing blue light on the wheelbase. I see. Which I presume means it's doing a thing. Yeah, so are you... Um, so what have you updated and what are you now updating? No idea and no idea. I clicked the update button and then it said there are updates available. So I clicked okay. update and Fair then enough. it said it did the updates and then it said there are updates available. So I clicked the update button. I see. Time to do 20 sequential firmware updates, everyone. <laughs> so it's a case of just basically I'm going to let it cycle hmm. once through that and then I'm just going to use it if there's anything left, and then I can just do the other updates. Fair enough. Ah. I have a, I have suspicion, because we we meant we mentioned in passing before we went live today, um, Caradog said, do you want to start recording um, uh, review footage tonight? Because I'm available, kind of thing. And part of me it, and you know in a way i was just like sure let's strike while the iron's hot and while you know while we've just come out of four hours of messing around and learning about it part of me is also tempted to say maybe we should leave it like a week or two for you to actually get time learning how it works but i don't know let's get it working first and see how we go How's Graham's left hand? It's doing okay. I didn't really think it was a big deal, but everyone's just like, you know what, that looks fairly gnarly. And I'm like, all right, well, yeah, it was pretty savage. However, I'm okay. But thank Skip. you for asking, though. I do appreciate it. I do not have a shifter <laughs> to calibrate. I will not calibrate the shifter I do not have. 
finish whatever fine close very well the firmware's not up to date i don't care you apparently can't do the firmware updates you're just being dense settings wheelbase sensitivity force feedback there we go i wish to i'm seeing a button that says force feedback test and i'm just like hmm i wish to be able to change this setting Why can I not change the setting? Settings are locked and can't change an auto setup. Only the game is able to change it. You need to change to a different setup on the tuning menu first. Oh, right, tuning menu. Advanced mode. Lots of sliders, I see. Oh boy. Right, where's the torque output? You probably wouldn't need to go over to one of these profiles, like setup one. Yeah, that enables all the sliders. Oops, wheelbase. Force feedback, off. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll get it. Put it on like 2%. Force feedback test. Is that testing? I can't tell. Put it on like 50% or something. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. I'm just, you know, starting. Yeah. This is true, yeah. Uh, there Oof. We go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just, yeah, suddenly it was just like, oh, oh, oh yes. Oh, she's alive. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fine. You approximately went over the curb. Yeah. Well, apparently. no, actually, you went over a line of paint, I think. When you go over the curb, I think it's going to go... <laughs> let's leave that in auto mode. And then let's open... F122. And see if it auto-detects everything. If it automatically detects everything, that'll be handy-dandy. Hmm. You'll probably have to s select it. You know, you'll probably have to say, use this wheel. I think for me, starting game. I think the acid test for me is if you start it up and it says Fanatec CSL or DSL or whatever it is, and like actually mentions the wheel by name. What I don't like is when the game is just like use wheel, and it's just like, do you know what kind of wheel this is though? Whereas when it actually specifies the wheel by name, that kind of implies that it actually knows what you have and what buttons it has and stuff, which is always nice. All right, Excite, here we go. And also, just for the people who don't know what's going on, uh, in, the, in the latest video, um, people could see that I had a gash on my left knuckle, and that's because when I was reaching for the phone, I bashed my hand on the side of the counter. That's it, that's what happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> but yeah, it looks kind of gnarly. All right, so the bad news is this monitor doesn't have any speakers on it. Right. I'm tempted to, uh, the cable might not reach. I was gonna say, what would be cool is if I could get the camera around behind you so it can see the front of the wheel. I might do a little bit of fiddling. Ah. While you tinker in the menus, I'm just gonna see if I can get the camera around looking over your shoulder. I'll put this chair to one side for now. Right. Um, Right, I'm going to kill this camera for a minute. Stand by, everyone. The camera is moving. That's really annoying. Hmm. Oh, does it not? Ah! Yeah, I was going to say, there's nothing worse than not being able to navigate the game menus with your main controller. I really hate that. That's... Unfortunate. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. This is very annoying. That's okay. You've got time while I fiddle with the camera. 
Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. That's fine. Oh, let's just... Oop. Like, this works. There we go. But it hasn't picked up that it's an Xbox controller, effectively. Ah. Oh, so vexing. I can do some of this. And, like, I can do this. Drift assist? What? It's to assist with your drift. Oh, Pirelli hot lamp stuff. Okay, that's fine. And, like, these buttons work. All right. So that's fine. But I cannot... All right, there we go. That's very annoying. But... Do you want an actual Xbox controller? Because we have one. I think I'm going to have to, because yeah. it's stuck thinking it's looking for PC inputs and then not accepting some of the PC inputs. Yeah. All right. No. Oh, oh, it's just accepted some of the PC inputs. Mm. There we go. Right. Grand Prix. Let's start a new Grand Prix. A Grand Prix. Yes. Whoop. Uh... Let's do something. Fine. We'll do it by rain. Yeah, that'll do. Who's your favourite driver? Uh, I like all of them. Let's go for... That's a very diplomatic response. <laughs> there we go. AI difficulty of zero. Yeah, that's fair. Controls, feedback, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. Oh, club sports steering wheel. Rad. I have... Oh, crap. Which one do I have? <laughs> Where's the box? What did I buy? Yes. It, I think this is the Formula V2. Clubs, yeah. Uh, steering wheel Formula V2X. Yes. Do I have a V2X? No, but oh, I shit. do have a V2. Can you remember which cider is yours? Enable. This yeah, the, the other one is over there, and I thought I'd drunk more of mine, so that one must be mine. Thank you. There you go. Right. All right. Okay, right. I think we're on. That looks like that's picking up menu settings now. The, well, the, the menu was working inside that menu, but I couldn't pan across menus. Oh, I see, yeah. All right, yeah, you got... Zero. 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 <laughs> There's okay. a little bit of flicker on... The camera is seeing a bit of flicker on the OLED display. Um, that is not visible to the naked eye, just OLED displays doing OLED things. All right. Ah, I can hit the buttons and do the things. That's cool. Okay. Right. Okay. I'm oh, yeah, I forgot to do any of the things. Put a rubber band on your glass. That's a good idea. Um, I don't have a rubber band. I'm just going to... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> good, good race, good race. Can you like turn damage off or something while you like calibrate? Was that a skill issue or was it wrong? Right. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. It was a skill issue. I take it you just wheel span into the into the yeah. barrier. I didn't expect that to be wheel spin. God, the graphics are stunning. Like we're only oh, at, oh boy. We're only at 1080p. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> we're only at 1080p. Ah. So it does look really ah. good. Let's uh let's just uh do, 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 do. I think I need to calibrate the steering. I was gonna say, because like you want like you want like I mean what's well 180 degrees is full lock in an oh. car, isn't it? Oh that's cool. Oh, is it kicking in now? Oh that's cool. Okay, let's... I have it on auto gears at the moment. I forgot to change that, but I'm yeah. also just like, brain load. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say just li little steps because you, you're having to adjust to a lot because you're used, to, oh, you're used to playing on an Xbox controller, aren't you? Yeah. So obviously like, and also... I don't get why it's spinning quite so much, but that's fine. I'll, I'll get the hang of that. Yeah. This is the thing is like going from an Xbox controller to a wheel is a big step and also... 
this is not a comfortable setup. The wheel is too high. This is doing a lot for my quads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wheel is too high. You're on a stupid chair. The, the nothing is anchored to the ground. This is not representative of an actual simulator setup. Shit. We've just made it work, basically. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Okay. Who, who was that one dude that everyone disliked who was notorious for spinning? Nikita Mazza spin. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. Okay. La, la, la. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> hold on. What's, oh, I need eight. Eight? Why is eight not eight? What? Does this keyboard just not have the keys that are printed on it actually function as the keys that are printed on it? I refuse to answer that question on account that I don't know. Right, let's just... I've also become a Williams. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know where this is going to chuck me out, but it's mm. going to chuck me out somewhere! Oh. <laughs> Uh, also, for context, this is uh, F122? Yes. Yeah, F122 this is, um, which uh, this is a game that Caradog is actually, you're pretty good at this I'm on a okay good day, at 22. You? Yeah. I am dramatically better at 21. Okay, yeah. So, 22, I find the, the car handling difficult, and I haven't got good at it on an Xbox controller because I knew I was getting this. Yeah. So I was just like, I'm going you to learn this on this because I'll be less annoyed with myself being bad at this game yeah. because I was never good at it. Mm. Uh, why not F1 2023, well, says pre-revenue? Because F1 2023 is another 40 quid for a game that's fine. Yeah. But it's like... Has it got the usual sports game problem where kind just, of. they've just got to put out one every year? Kind yeah, of thing. kind of. And like, because I didn't get on with 22, mm. I didn't want to buy it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, cool. Oh! Damn it. Um, I can't feel when it's letting go, though. That's the only thing. This... And I half expected to be able to feel when it was letting go in the wheel. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I was about to say, this is my problem with simulator setups. Hold on. Setups. Science, how were you behind me? Science, what were you doing? <laughs> this is my problem with simulator setups is... Because you can't feel it through your bum. You can't feel it, yeah. Um, but on the other hand, I'm sure you can train yourself to feel it through the wheel, which is what people who are actually super into simulators do. Shit. Um, well, uh, unless they've got like, you know, obviously if you're doing a, a proper hardcore simulator setup, you're going to have a cage and you might even start having some basic, um, like, uh, um, what what do you call it when you've got like some air, air lifters to actually tilt yeah. the chair around and stuff like that. That's going to help a little bit. I need but to yeah. remember I'm on difficulty zero, so they brake massively early. Uh, I see. So, yeah, someone's in front of you and they just stand on the brake pedal and you crash into their back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> <laughs> also, apparently, I'm now doing this in reverse. There we go. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go through the chat again. Let's see. Mm. Oh, it's your speed. Okay. The little screen on the wheel tells you your speed. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, apparently this isn't a good game to be testing on, but then that, that's probably just because, like, F1 cars are pretty hardcore, I guess. There are easier cars to learn a wheel on. Um, but we, we went with this just because um, this is a game that Caradog is already familiar with. Um, so it was... It, uh, we knew that if nothing else, Caradog would know how to work the game, so we wouldn't have to wrestle with that. Um, so, yes. Um, <laughs> Treb says, difficulty zero equals average door sit drivers. <laughs> the seat things are called rumble pads. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, well, you seem to have not fallen off the track in a straight line. Yeah. It looks like the brake pedal isn't too savage. No. I was expecting you to have trouble pressing the brake pedal with this setup, but it looks like it's not obnoxious. Yeah. Because there's lots of people, you know, I've seen the setups where they've got a massive piston behind the brake pedal, and I'm like, that probably does feel like a real race car, but 
what a lot of people probably forget is that a race car, like a, a race car is not the same as your driving car. Like, Damn yeah. It. Oh. So a, a lot of simulator setups are built to be more hardcore than an average road car is, which is why it's so difficult to become accustomed to them. Whereas this looks like it's currently set for a reasonably arcade setup, which is probably good for learning with. And then, like, once once you get into it, you could put in, you could stiffen it up. So yeah, Mike Jones says you're looking pretty good. It looks like you're starting to get the hang of it. And again, I'm like, getting there, but yeah, it's the throttle, it's the throttle input that's throwing me. But throttle input in this game throws me anyway. Yeah, and also, like, again, it's an F1 car, you know. My understanding is if you give them a hard look, they spin, so... Certainly in 22, yeah. Yeah. Um, Pete Richards says, The Fanatec clamp is not good. Can say that with certainty. You had one and would frequently become detached from the desk oh. after a period of racing. Ended up going for a sim frame for security. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. This, like, I can see the clamp flexing on the bench. It doesn't look like it's going to let go right, right away. But, like, if you were vaguely serious about this I think you would be wanting to get a frame but also I think Fanatec knows that and I think this desk clamp really is like minimum viable product just so you don't have to own a frame but like if I was setting something like this up I'd be wanting to buy a frame really? but any idea does anyone know how much a, a simple frame costs my understanding is they're not that expensive because no. it's just a bunch of tubes at the end of the day yeah have you, you said you've got an Xbox controller. Yes. Can you stick the Xbox controller in? Mm. And then I'll restart this race and just show the comparison. Yeah, right. The, the only problem is uh, I might not have, um, let me just see if I've got a, a suitable cable for it. Um, because the, um, oh. oh, that's very broken, yeah. Uh, let me just see if I've got a cable that will sort you out. Will it not do Bluetooth? <clears throat> Uh, no, it's a uh, it's a third party controller. Oh, I see. I have also managed to beach myself. That right. was quite impressive. Impressive. Um. Um. Okay. Right. Oh, that might fit. I also have all of the heat from the computer blowing between my legs. Oh no. And it's yeah, making me quite warm. <laughs> <laughs> Given also all of the the focusing. You're ah. cu you're currently in try hard mode. Oh, right. this is surprisingly difficult. Yes, yeah, we can do. we can make this work, yeah. I don't have a long cable for this controller because of reasons, so I'm just going to rig up something that works. Oh, right, uh, that I'm requires... getting there, but... Um, however, it's all working, isn't it? Yes, um, other than the bit behind the wheel. Uh, yes. <laughs> the squishy human. Probably exists between chair and wheel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Bear with me, everyone. I'm just looking for USB oh, cables. Oh, how? How? I have literally never spun on that corner in my life. <laughs> oh, dear. Performance anxiety? I've been lapped! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pedals have moved. I'm surprised it took that long for them to move. Um, right, come on, Graham, think. Uh, a, I need an AB cable. Why can't you just plug the controller in? Because the cable isn't long enough to reach down to the computer. It might actually, will it? Ah! I have a, I have a. Oh, it will actually. Yeah. I have a Mercedes inside me. George, no. George, stop. <laughs> right, I'm going to plug in this Xbox controller. It might do funky things. There okay. go. Right, the cable isn't very long, but you should be able oh, to work with that. Enough, yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, right, catching up on the chat. I'm going to finish this lap. 
Yeah. Hold on, what place was that? Oh, I didn't see what place it was. Um, Pete says, I got a GT Omega Apex frame to bolt the wheel and pedal base to. It's very nice. How much was it, if you don't mind saying? Just to give people a rough idea. There you go. Fernando Alonso. Uh, let's see. Oh, it costs about 120 pounds. That's not bad. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like, considering the amount of money that you would invest in a setup like this, that's not, that's blah, not blah, huge. Blah, 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 blah. And it handles the CSL DD quite nicely. There you go. Right. If we just go... Leon says, I moved from Fanatec to Moser, and I prefer the Moser. Over one lap behind. <laughs> uh, Nikolai says, Con considering you're using an untuned stock settings, you're doing pretty well to keep the car on track. Hello, Nikolai, by the way. Uh, Nikolai is the chap who did the uh, um, the 3D printed signs, for those of you who were here earlier on. Apex is fine, 99 on GT Omega UK sale, so yeah, you can pick them up for 100 quid now and then, that's cool. Uh, Nikolai says, would recommend grabbing Maurice's F122 profiles and use them as a base to tune your preference. So, yeah. My, my my preference is also just a case of learning to actually throttle. Yeah. Because... I was going to say, now, now, now you've gone quiet because now you've got a gamepad and you're like, okay, it's go time, you know. Oh, I've just... Ooh. Just going to double check. Okay, good. It had just suddenly occurred to me that I'd not checked that we weren't blasting game audio down the stream. <laughs> we are not, so that's good. You were doing so well until you yeah. until you fell off the track. <laughs> yeah, but as a comparison, you were doing well until everybody died. <laughs> yeah, these triggers do feel significantly more like switches than triggers. Yes, um, that that game pad is the PDP game pad. Um, and it's okay. They're they're like 20, 20 pounds, twenty five pounds, and for for the price you pay, they're not terrible. But they are not as good as the original Xbox controllers, and they're not going to be a patch on an Xbox Elite, which is what I think you're used to. Yeah. So yeah, um, I do like the way that the wheel is still gives you all of this information though, yeah. and the fact that it's also still giving you the information even now. So like. Like that has just worked straight away without any setup, which is cool. I think that's a good user experience that um, that is working natively without um, yeah. without you having to say um, with, without having to map it and set it all up and stuff like that. It's also good that again, apparently there are uh, profiles you can download as well that will also assist. So that's also neat. He is. Uh, Pete says he's posted a link to that wheel stand in the gaming channel on the Discord. Thanks for that, my dude. Uh, if anyone is not in the Discord and wants to uh, continue the conversation, um, the links are in the description down below. But yes, as a comparison... Hmm. Uh, there's a piece of separate software called Fana Labs for configuring LED profiles and reactions. Oh, interesting. Hello, Chris. How's it doing? Hey... Let me try that again. Hello, Chris. How's it going? <laughs> hello, I, I, hello. I got stuck between how's it going and how are you doing and just said, how's it doing? <laughs> um, Who are you doing? Yeah. Um, uh, it did indeed arrive very unexpectedly. Um, it showed up a week ago just out of the blue and we were like, OK, sure. So uh, we're going to proceed with our original plans for the time being. Um, there's certainly more to the story but I'm um, we're, we're not going to speculate because the sto the the story behind acquiring the wheel is still ongoing as far as we're concerned but um this is something that will not go unnoticed in the review suffice to say um you know like we haven't we haven't actually decided what we're saying but when we do the review of this I, I said to Caradog like um the other day I said we do actually need to have a, a, a segment at the beginning of the review that just says, while this product seems to be pretty good, we had an awful customer service experience. And, you know, it, it would be disingenuous to not talk about that. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, it would be really easy okay. to just write a gushing review and say how amazing it is and how well it works. But, like, there are other videos that do that already. 
So, yeah. Ooh. That one was slightly more of a left back. All right. But very much as a comparison, I can actually save the slide on a D-pad. Yes. Right, now you've, uh, now you've regained your dignity, you do actually have to carry on using the wheel, which is what the stream is about. Oh yeah, but I was just like, <laughs> that's kind of the point yes. of just the comparison. Like, I am capable in yes. this game. I'm certainly not good, yeah, just but so, I am just so everyone, capable. Just so everyone is aware, this is a learning curve, not because you suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to delete it and mm. set up a new one. Uh, Pete the Sweetie says, did we get the eight Newton meters power supply? No, we got the five. No, we've just Newton got the five. One. Um, but mostly, we... mostly because I was like, oh, I wonder if we can mod it. Yes. Basically. Yeah. How much, can you remember how much extra the big one was? No. Yeah. It was more money and I was just like, eh, let's see if we can mod it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. However, the only difference is just the power supply. So we're probably going to, we're, we're going to either buy separately the bigger power supply um, or we're going to, oh my God, okay. Why is there a man pointing a leaf blower at my face? Because he's keeping you cool. Oh. Because you're in Bahrain. I see. And Bahrain <clears throat> is hot. I see. <laughs> um, right. You've got to go around behind me and keep an eye on chat. Um, <laughs> I, I, I must pick up my cider. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Hello, people. What was I talking about beforehand? I don't know. I've lost track of what I was saying now. Yeah. Oh, too late. The high seas. God, there was a chap. Yeah, well, you're not kidding about the heat output from this PC. I'm just sitting here, and it feels like I'm sitting in front of a heater. Yeah, there is approximately 400 watts blowing at my crotch right now. <laughs> yeah, you are not joking. All right. However much total you think you need, half. Yeah. All right. Bram, bram. All right, two, start race. What's button it's two? A. A. All right, here we go. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. When the lights go out, the car will start yeah. moving. There we go. Full throttle! Oh, oh, yeah. The the back wants to go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. JD says ignore the heels, mate. Oh, oh, oh. I binned it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, menu? Unfortunately, the menu doesn't seem to menu. Yeah, that's a bummer. But if you press oh, X move. when it says flashback, which it does now, cool. you can I then can... flashback. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna hold back and just let everyone get ahead, and hopefully they won't demolish my wheels as they pass me. Yeah, there you go. All right. Oh yeah, that brake has got a decent feel to it. It's um yeah. yeah. All right, careful, careful. I'm just gonna pick my way around the. I've never played this game before <laughs> on any. Kind as Chris of says, you've only so. gone and fucked it, Graham. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have you know, I have a pristine driving history. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I, I was I was being cheeky then. I was, thought I'd be a bit larry and just, just kick the back out. <laughs> the back was already out when you were like, I'm going to kick the back out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the heat from the PC is deliberate. Caradog is trying to mimic the temperatures of Bahrain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I, I saw the red flags and I was like, oh, she'll make it. You want to break mm. as you hit the yellow one okay yeah no later that is the very latest you want to break yeah especially getting used to it i would suggest breaking in the final green yeah <laughs> the you know what the it does the bad doesn't want to kick out that badly like i'm being a little bit more larry on the throttle when when i'm not in a corner like as soon as i get onto a straight line and put my foot down it does actually stay in a straight yeah. line oh yeah I, I thought it would just squirrel off the track if i no, tried to do no. that Downforce is amazing. Yeah. And you forget how good downforce is. Yeah. But you've it's, got to be it's low it's the low speed through yeah. the corner, applying the power onto the straight. That's where it completely messes you up. Yeah. Also lighting up the tires, you have to be really gentle because they lose all of their grip. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's I'm, wild. I've probably done about <sighs> ten thousand laps worth of damage to these tires, so <laughs> And there's probably about 10,000 flat spots on them where I've just stood on the brakes on approach to a corner. <laughs> right. Yes. Uh. But yeah. Um, 
oh yeah, I was, I'm now just sort of started focusing on like the actual force feedback from the wheel. And because like the wheel, it's not, it's not devastate. Yeah, it's not devastatingly yeah. strong. Like I'm not fighting the wheel. I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm not yeah. fighting it. However, like just then, when I ran over the curb, I actually felt like a 3D bump. If, yes. You know, as I went over the curb, and that's something that I've not felt from a wheel. The, yeah. There's. Um, I, I've only ever played with smaller wheels where, you know, like it's got rumble and it fights you when you try and turn it, but you don't feel the texture of the road through the wheel, whereas this is actually giving me um, texture feedback, if that's the term for it. Yeah, um, like you can feel a lot more of the road and someone through the wheel. Yeah, and like just then, I, when I went over that curb just then, I felt the left wheel go over it and like it kicked up my left hand then my right hand and then again as the right hand went over it kind of thing. Whoa! Yeah. Boff. Oh, that's the end of me. I'm kill. Um, are you okay? That was a big one. Um, so like, y like, yeah, like actually focusing on the, the wheel, like um, the, the force feedback does actually have depth to it that I've not felt yeah. before. So like thinking about... That was surprising. Yeah, so like talking about, you know, like I, I've played with a racing wheel before. This is not new, but this does feel good. And like the wheel is so comfortable to hold. That feels really good in my hand. Yeah. Oh. You know, and just, yeah, I could, thing, I could get used to that. The thing that is certainly bad when you've got the much higher power ones is obviously when you crash, the wheel will kick very hard. Mm. And yes. you'll hurt your wrists. Yeah. Yeah. I can, I can imagine that. Or, well, I can't yet, but yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. Right, that should probably be enough for me to save it. There you go. All right, see if I can uh, get around. Ooh! There we go. <laughs> Bringing in the throttle again. There you go. Obviously, this would have a lot more depth to it if we had sound as well, so we could actually like hear what the engine is doing, I think would also help. We'd also but, yeah. have a lot more depth to it if we were remotely competent. <laughs> yes, of course, but yeah. One day, many thousands of hours into the future. Yeah, considering how janky this setup though is, it's not awful. Like, sure, the wheel yeah. is too high for comfort, but like previous times when I've tried to just put pedals on the floor like this, we would just be pushing the pedals away. But like, yeah. sure, it's up against the PC on the floor, but like, yeah. even then, there's not a lot of stability in what we're doing and we're managing. And that that means that like the actual, the mounts are pre are halfway decent because we're not like, oh! Um, yeah, like the mounts are halfway decent because they're managing in a very bad situation. Yeah. But just all of this is very, yeah, I'm I'm very impressed. Yeah. By all of it. Yeah. I would greatly enjoy um, trying uh, a racing game that I'm more accustomed to, like a, um, a rally game or something like that, which we're not prepared for today. But, yeah. you know, like when we when we do the review of this, we'll have to find a suitable rally game. Um, yeah. And uh, I want to like, get I want to try and get good at motorsport in this as well. Um, yeah, like Forza motorsport. Forza, yeah. Yeah. And just is, is a kind of a difference as well. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to even consider iRacing. <laughs> yeah. Or what, you know, lots, lots of people have pointed out as well as Assetto Corsa. Yeah. Which I know is um, a, lot think, of, a, a lot of the simulators of choice kind of thing. I think I've got um, ACC. Um, so yeah, so I can certainly give that a go, but having never done ACC at all. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Um, my, oh yeah, I should have, yeah, I was being cheeky there. <laughs> um, yeah, my only experience with ACC is just uh, the last LAN party I was at where we were doing it in VR. Um, <laughs> and just being like, oh my god, what the hell is yes. this? <laughs> we were not good at the game, but we had fun, that's the <laughs> important thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, yeah, like the actual, the amount of turn is not so, so too bad as well. Like when you, when you first started playing it and we were just like, oh God, there's 360 degrees of turn. It's like once you actually start driving it, I'm rarely having, I'm not having to go past 180 degrees kind of thing, which is what the car is actually capable of doing it. Oh, and I've spun it again. That was, that was the curb. <laughs> yeah. 
But it's just the fact that you can like there there is so much more texture in the force feedback than there is yeah like on a, on a controller again considering like i've never played this game i've never used any kind of serious wheel and we've got a really jank setup and like uh, sure i'm i'm spinning the car a lot but like i'm 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 pointing it around the track you yeah. know which, so, it's also the fact that it's actually reasonably enjoyable yeah that's it like i've played other simulators where i'm just like i, I can't work with this you know just for whatever reason whereas yeah. this is this is not an awful experience yeah i'm not obviously this is not um like this is not good yeah but <laughs> yeah however all things can th this gives me very high confidence that um with more time put into the setup um, this would be an extremely enjoyable experience. Yeah, absolutely. and also just like you know, when we when we get the VR working on this as well, that'll be that'll be really good. Yeah. Um. So and yeah. And this at the moment, this has got. Oh come on, come on! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> I was like, but what if I put my foot down and pull out of it? This has got um, ABS turned on. And also yes. um, does have minor traction control. Yeah, yeah, that that explains a lot. Because um, so it's just a case of yeah. To, it was it was the case. Where I was just like, first of all, yeah, no. Second of all, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, that explains why I'm halfway competent, especially with the braking. Because I was quite surprised that with the way I'm just running up to the red line and then standing on the brake pedal what should happen is all four wheels lock up and i just keep going straight forward at 130 miles an hour yeah but yeah oh yeah oh, just the again like the feel over you you can feel all of the road surfaces that's that's really good yeah yeah and like each one feels different yeah like there i can tell when I, you know i can feel when i go into the grass i can feel when i go over the curb i can feel when i'm on whatever that texture is that's just off the track and just yeah yeah yeah. Oh no! Oh, I should. I tried to cut the corner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Have you beached yourself? Oh, I, I think I've. Yeah, I've oh, been okay. dead. Yeah, there we go. All right. <laughs> oh, I tag out. It's good though. Yes. Whew. Yeah, I, I could sit and play that. You know, even though like I'm I'm not into F1. But just at face value, just sitting on even just that setup, right? And you know, I'm just like, oh, I could, I could have fun with this, you know. The level of warmth. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. But yes, that's surprisingly good. Um, if I quit to main menu. So the other thing as well, this has. And the other reason I use 22 over 21 is that this has got Pirelli hot laps in it. Mm. which are not F1 cars. Oh, right, I see. Oh, yeah, cool. Yes. Formula One STC Saudi Arabian. 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 Cool. This is a McLaren 720S. Oh, yeah, rolling start, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> is that the sound of the McLaren, is it? <laughs> Picking your way around the corner. Um. <coughs> uh, I didn't spin it. Good job. Oh, oh, just just kissing the wall. Oh, oh. <laughs> I th I thought you were gonna bin it properly just then. <laughs> uh, but yes, different. There are different vehicles. Very cool. Okay. Yes. Um, Let's see. The new rally game is good. Yeah, which one is that again? Is that Dirt Five or something? I forget. Or is it just called Dirt? Um, either way, I knew. I know there's a new Codemasters game out, and everyone's raving about it. Um, so yes, I'm sort of tempted by it. It's been a while since I've been into a rally game, um, but I have had times where I've 
you know, I've put I've put a lot of time into some rally games, so you know, I I could get in I could get into it. Um. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think the, the thing that was very interesting for me was that the wheel turned mm. out of the corner. Mm. So the wheel turned with the force feedback out of the direction I was turning it as the car slid. Yeah. So the, so the wheel forced you to correct the slide because of the way that effectively the force feedback mm. went. I was just like, that's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, EA Sports WRC. Oh, yeah, that enough. one. Uh, one thing that always pays to check is checking the settings for the degrees of rotation for the wheel. Fanatec forums have ideal settings for the wheelbase for each game and sim. Yeah. I could imagine, like like you said, if we dial in profiles and stuff, um, I definitely want to try something. Um, I'll probably try one of these hot laps in a minute with um, uh, manual gears on so we can start trying out the, pet, the, the paddles because we haven't touched yeah. the paddles yet. I'll do that in a second. Yeah. And that would be cool. And uh, oh yeah, apparently the, um, uh, those uh, those settings for the wheelbase are configurable from the wheel, so you can switch between them on the fly and stuff, which also sounds pretty cool. Oh. Manual and suggested gear. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. We've added in another another dimension of concentration now. Uh, manual gears is really hard when you're playing. Manual gears is really hard when you're playing with no audio because, like, the, the tone of the engine is your audio prompt for manual gears. Because, like, even though we've got the lights on the wheel and stuff like that, certainly when I was playing the game, I wasn't looking at the wheel, you know. My, my eyes were dead on the screen. Um, so... Mm. Watching this makes you want to bring your sim stuff over to the shop. Oh! Mm. Well, as I say, we'll see how things go because I, I am wanting to push more into variety content just to look at just other cool stuff as well as just repairs. The channel was always supposed to be more than just repairs. Um, and yeah, I do want to try and push stuff in that direction. Um, but I it it's also, I'm a bit scared of swinging too wildly as well. But also, I, I have always said you know, when thinking about this, I've always been like, no, I'll decide what the channel content oh. is, not not YouTube and not the audience kind of thing. But also you have to, you've got to test the water because there's no point in just completely pivoting a channel in a way that none of your audience is interested in because that just tanks your channel. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, clearly the, the, the other option as well that I was thinking about as well is for certain things, like, for example, I've got a, I got a review offer for a VR game that is coming out next year. I forget the name of it, um, but it's a, a VR first-person shooter. And okay. I very recently played through, um, I very recently played through Half-Life Alex and had a really good time. Um, mm. And so I was just like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to try a new VR shooter kind of thing. And so I'm going to follow up on that and say, yes, I'm interested in doing a review. The question is, is like, will that be on the main channel or what kind of thing? And another option that I did think about was doing a review, putting it on the second channel. So this one that you guys are watching and then putting a YouTube short on the main channel that says, hey, I recently looked at this v new VR game. Um, it's about this and it has this and this. If you want to see the full review, check it out on the second channel linked below kind of thing. Yeah. So that way we're not flooding the main channel with off-topic content, but there is still some something to drive traffic toward that review, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, right. Um, a. A. E. All right. E, E, E. E, 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 E. Oh, 
those those pedals are sa- the, the 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 paddles are savage, but also good. Oh, oh I went off the track. Yeah, DSQ. All right. <laughs> I thought it said round one of three fold parentheses off track. <laughs> you know. Uh, A. Yes. Admin IT and admin OT. Overtime? Maybe. Off topic? Off topic, yeah, that makes sense. Other things. Wow, the suggested gear is like two. Yeah, I'm not sure why. The suggested gear does not work oh, in this vehicle. Wow, that's that it did not want to turn then. I think I'm it felt like I was understeering, but Alright. You're also just way too fast. You're way too fast. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we're still in the red there. Whoa, whoa. The corner effectively tightens. Yeah, okay, right. L- one more try, one more try. Otherwise, so, yeah. I'm just going to uh, concede that I just suck at this. And I, 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 yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a much later initial braking point, but you need to hold on the brake for longer. Right, okay. And you can brake and steer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this is, this is a skill issue, and this stream is not going to be a get good stream. But, yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Bram, bram. Oh, you did scare. Sorry, I thought for a second that the mon- the the capture was only showing the top right hand corner of the capture. I was like, ah, oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> so yeah, so keep breaking, keep breaking. Yeah, uh, there. Yeah, that's the there apex. So that's when you Ooh, can start applying oh, god. throttle. Oh, it's trying to. Oh god. Oh, it's trying to kick out. It's trying to kick out. Freaking hell. Oh, come on. Oh. I couldn't. I couldn't get. I couldn't save that then. <laughs> All right, come on. I probably should have just shifted up and just relied on uh, up shifting to um, get the traction back. <sighs> this is that's harder. Well, I guess it's because I'm not allowed to fall off the track. But I was going to say this actually feels harder than the F1 car. Yeah. Don't forget this car doesn't have downforce. Yeah. And also, just this isn't an, an annoying corner. Uh, come on, it's hard to fit. It's hard to fix that tank slapper. Ah, uh, I yeah. When the back starts kicking out on this, it's really hard to rein that in. Like it doesn't show on screen, but um, like when you're racing, you can feel the back of the car is stepping out because the the steering is just suddenly not responding properly. But also, like, that's something that I'm feeling through the wheel just straight away. Mm. And I don't know if I'd get that on the controller. No. Um, you know, like, you can see on the, you can see that the, um, the, you can see on the camera that the car is moving in a way that it shouldn't be. But you can really feel on the wheel that the back is not in line just straight away. Um, like, it's difficult to describe, but, Yeah. I guess, if anything, the fact that I'm getting this much information just right off the bat is a testament to the wheel doing its job. The force feedback is very good. Yeah. Again, it's. I was expecting the force feedback to just be savage and rip my arms out of my sockets, but that's. it's not about that. It's about the, the detail that's in the feedback. Yeah, it's kind of... It's the texture yeah. of the feedback and kind of thing. Yeah, that is actually what is good here. And... I'm okay with that. Like, oh, it, it has got a decent amount of strength as well. Like, when I was coming around that long corner there, there I really felt I was having to push against the wheel. And again, other wheels, whenever... With, other wheels with force feedback, there's a bit of resistance in there, but you can very easily just overwhelm that resistance. Whereas yeah. with this, I'm just like, oh, I'm actually having to push now, you know? Yeah. It's, like, it's not a workout or anything. Of course it's not. But it is actually, like... Oh, this wheel would actually fight me if it were trying. You know, yeah. the 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 wheel. I am the wheel is not at a fraction of its power, kind <laughs> of thing. So yeah. Yes. Cool. All right. Um, all right. We've done some testing. Uh, what now? Don't know. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see. It's very good though. Yes. Uh, so that's with the that's with the things on. Um, hmm. um, oh, it's such a it's such a bummer that we didn't get the the VR headset because I th- we would have had time to set that up. 
Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm over here. But yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna I, thought, I thought you were just going to turn up, around yeah. and just be like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Caradog jump scare. Yeah, we would have had time to set that up, um, but it is what it is. Um, okay. Hmm. I suppose we could start thinking about what we would want to do in a review of this. Mm. So if we were if we were making a review of um oh uh i'm oh, sorry i've just glanced over at the chat yes quentin i did get the i did get your gift box of haribo thank you very much for the gift box of haribo and while i'm while we're on that subject as well because i would have forgotten this also thank you to um that someone also sent a box also thank you to jason smith who also sent a care package of cider as well so thank you to Jason and Quentin for the gifts. Much appreciated. Um, yes, many thanks to both of you. Uh, right. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So if we were going to review this, then, so what do we? What do we want to? We we could talk about and plan what we would do in a review because we don't really know what we're doing for this. No. So we need to. We need a better setup. Um, so we need a lower desk. Um, I guess, hmm, like the actual, the repair bench would go low enough. Um, if I tidied up the repair bench, we could clamp it onto that. Um, so that's a possibility. For me, it's the angle on the pedals. Yeah. The chair's too high for the pedals. Yeah. But obviously, if we make the, the chair in, if we make the chair any lower, then the wheel's yeah. going to be up here. So. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah, for that on this setup, it's yeah. that change. So the wheel, relatively, if the relative height compared to the chair mm. stayed the same, that would be fine for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we'd have to do that. Then I guess so. We want to talk about so the actual setup of the device was pretty straightforward. You managed to you managed to assemble it together without too much faff. Yeah. Um, so software setup, you downloaded the software, that worked first time. There's lots of um there's lots of firmware updates that need doing. Um yeah, but and, that's... and the firmware updater seems to not work oh. very well. Yeah, so just we... because it's the fact of, you know, I cycled through it twice mm. and both times it said the wheel's not plugged in. Ah, yes. But all the buttons on the wheel worked, so it was clearly plugged in. Yeah, so that's so a like, um yeah. That's a matter of need to need to try that again and see if that was a fluke or whether it is just a bit spotty. Yeah, um, see to how to get the actual yeah. thing. Um, game picked it up first time and well, so well there was a little bit of issue with menuing, um, but then also this is probably just down to game support. Yeah, um, I think when when I because uh, if I back all the way out of here. Mm. Uh, I didn't realise, but if I go, uh, yeah, see in this menu, I think this the other menu is the difficult one. <coughs> yeah, I think one of the other issues we've got here is that um, we it it's showing uh, the on-screen controls are button numbers. Um, it's not seeing this as an Xbox gamepad, and yeah. the buttons have Xbox buttons labelled on them, so. And step across. So, like, when you're inside a menu, it's fine. But yeah. But you can't move across menus. So, moving across menus is buttons six and five. But the problem is, these are all labelled left trigger, right trigger, and so on. Yeah. Um, so, we don't know what buttons six and five are. So... Um, uh, they should be right shoulder button and left shoulder button, because that's what they are on the Xbox controller. Oh, that makes sense. So if I do yeah. that... Yes. Yes. But, right shoulder button... Is bringing up the um... yeah. So this this could probably be solved. Um, this could probably be solved yeah. by. Um, uh... It appears that the mapping for these buttons is not correct. Yeah. So this is solvable through profiles. Um, however, it begs the question: What was the point in putting all the Xbox controls on on the wheel if it doesn't actually function as an Xbox controller? Um, you know. If you have to, um, yeah. If, if you have to do a full profile setup on it anyway, then they may as well have just put numbers on there, because then at least numbers would be visible on screen instantly. So, 
Um, suggest if you can also trying in software with many different cars. Real test of a good wheel. Um, uh, a real test of a good wheel is how easily you can switch between vehicles. That makes sense. Yeah, we will we'll try more than one game certainly, um, because uh, yeah, we'll try we'll try a couple of different games. Mm -mm -mm. What streams are you cancelling around the Christmas period? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Um, let's see. Um, I'm going to quickly bring up the thing. Where are we today? We're currently on the 9th. So um, as far as I'm concerned, are you around next week? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we'll be on next week. Then the Saturday after that um, will be the 23rd. Um, I would probably be good for the 23rd because I'll be in... Um, up to you on that one but yeah. we'll be here next week at the very least so yeah um then i'll be closed over the christmas week so um for example saturday 30th i'm definitely not going to be around for that so uh so yeah basically just the christmas week i believe so yes uh right yeah going back to this so yeah some of this oh controller disconnected i see um, some of this may well just be a matter of um, um, setting up the game. So I'm not going to... But what I'm looking at here is... There's two ways of look. That, uh, bleh, let me try this again. The difficulty of the setup and stuff, um, some of it is the fault of the game, but also how good something is can also just be a matter of how easy it was to set up. And having really good support by all the games and just working is a is a good precedent to set i have seen some games as well where um you can the game allows you to select what the on-screen controls are that it shows you but then on the flip side we've also seen that um uh the, the yeah the controls that it's supposed to be aren't the controls that it's mapped to and stuff I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how much of an ask it is to expect it to just know the layout of this controller natively. I think that's a tall order personally. Uh Pete says he's also dropped a link to Automo Automobilista uh, Automobilista 2 in the game channel. 17 pound 50 on Steam and has a good variety of driving and racing. Oh okay. That's a game then. Yeah. Yeah. But like is that a like is that a uh, um, a a sandbox simulator, so to speak? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Multiple wheelbase has been detected. Hmm. Right, so we need some time mm. to test profiles, I think, and we'd want to try. We want to set, test set up on a couple of different games. And we need to set it up on a different bench. I think the actual repair bench will probably suffice just because it can go low enough and it pro and I think it will have enough stability. Um, so that would work. And I'd just clear that table for the sake of the review video. So that would work as well. So that would be doable. Hmm, interesting, okay. And like part of me is interested in the third party apps for profiles and stuff like that, but the other part of me bum, is bum, just bum, like, bum. this is also one of the things that I don't like about um, setups is having to have a billion different apps to make it work. So I kind of would have put, I kind of want to put a decent emphasis on just having the Fanatec software installed and just what the game will do natively. Because like part of that comes down to how good the game is, but also, like I say, I don't like I don't like the idea of spending a, a load of money on a wheel 
and then having to have like three different apps to map all the controls out and make it work the correct way. This software looks nice though, um, because like it's showing you what the thing is you're looking at and giving you a bunch of dials for how you can customize that. So that seems pretty decent. Hmm. If you're a motorsports fan, then uh, Automobilista has many cars and tracks. That's fair. Cool. Interesting. Cool. I like that you can very quickly just get uh. to testing as well and just see what it looks like. I'm going to assume that one. Yeah, that's assume visually. That's the correct ones. Yeah. Even though they all have the same options on them, I assume selecting the right one will also give it an idea of what kind of feedback you're supposed to be getting as well. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Uh... CSLDB has five switchable profiles from the software that can be changed on the fly from the base. Is that by pushing the button on the base? Is there, is there, are there multiple buttons on the base, or is it just the button? Yeah, no, that still mm. doesn't work properly. You've not had a need for any particular third-party stuff. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good then, yeah. <coughs> Okay, so when you said um, th when you said downloading profiles earlier on, was that profiles for the Fanatec software then? Like preset profiles for the Fanatec software. I thought that was a third party app that would then set settings in stuff for you or something like that. But yeah, if that's profiles for the Fanatec software, that's good. So that that's a good question: is if the Fanatec software has import export options for its profiles. Hello, Grave Digger. Ah, hello. You've arrived. Mm hmm. So, are you tinkering to see if you can get the control mapping sorted at the moment? Yeah, just to see if I can get. Yeah. These two buttons to actually function as they yeah. should. No. Hmm. I mean, I, I take no. it you can't just assign them from the game settings menu then? Uh, possibly, but I'd have to go through and rebind absolutely every function that's on this function to some other button. So then I can yeah. assign this function to be function in the damn menu. Yeah. What's it doing at the moment then? Something. Yeah. So if I press it, I think it's doing the same as... Yeah, it's doing the same as that button. That's on the doing Xbox menu, controller. yeah. It's doing the Xbox controller menu button, but I have an Xbox controller menu button there. Yeah. Which, which doesn't it... do anything. But also the Xbox button itself doesn't do anything either. Yeah. That, yeah, I would like to solve that. I want, because as far as, because for me, like, as soon as I saw that, I'm just like, lovely, it's got all the Xbox controls over it. It'll just work. Yeah. Like, I can understand all of the, the, the twiddly dials and stuff needing set up. That's understandable. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, all of the face buttons should do what they say yeah. as an Xbox controller it's just a case straight of... off the bat. Otherwise, why does it have Xbox labels on it? Yeah, the, yeah. the, the left button and the right button don't they mm. work as the menu button yeah um the base fanatec app itself allows you to change sensitivity of inputs rotation yes that's fair yeah so yeah oh and the the uh the tuning button on the left of the led screen along with moving the funky switch sets what profile you're using so yeah, yeah that's how you switch between oh yeah set one is it that one is it... uh the funky oh, i think yeah. the funky is one of those ones yeah Oh, cool. Set you can two. So there's profile that. two. Yeah. 
Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. Right. Oh, you can yeah, adjust yeah. them from there. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. That's see. This is where the OLED screen is really powerful. Then, isn't it? Because like doing that yeah. on the LED screen uh, would suck. Whereas actually having a tiny little OLED screen to you know it's kind of fiddly, but it's functional. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So presumably up and down is what profile you're on and then left and right is settings within the profile. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then they seem to be things possibly independent of that. Yeah, they are. That's not anything. That's not anything. Yeah, I assume that those are just customizable within game. Yeah, I'm hoping that if I edit this and go to... Here... I can like, yeah. Oh no, that just counts as a button. Presumably, I assume that detects as an oh. input though. Like it, that is um, button 50 at value something kind of know. thing. I don't know. Yeah. In the same way that, like, for example, when if you set the throttle and you touch the throttle, it says, no. okay. See, because oh, those, not are, those are conflicting. It. Yeah. And they're different switch positions. Well, um, yeah. What is UDP? I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yes, because obviously, like this being an F1 wheel in an F1 game, you would want to be able to change like car setups <laughs> with those twiddly <laughs> dials. Yeah, okay, that's kind of cool being able to do that. So you can just set ERS modes on like that. Yeah, that works. Because mm. what would be cool is to be able to. Yeah, that makes more sense you doing it like that. Yeah, because what would be cool is obviously to get it set up vaguely how one of the actual cars is set up, I suppose, isn't it? That'd be interesting. To an extent. Rotary switches are usually one click left, one click right for increasing ABS and traction control. Yeah, see, that's what I assume is that it's, um, it senses them as an input that has a value between one and 10. Think of it like a voltage controls kind of thing. Thanks. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. Oh, you tabbed out. I thought the game just exited the universe. <laughs> what? Oh, it's the key. The keyboard is the, the. It's the same dodgy one that we were using before that was frustrating us. F1 just doesn't work now. Okay. I think if we are configuring this, we'll need a keyboard that functions as well. Yes, yes, I would. Well, I have no that. idea what's going on with <laughs> half of the buttons. I, half of the buttons on here seem to randomly not function. I think the Enamax keyboard has had it. It might just need new batteries, but either way, yeah. yeah this this is the one that we suspected was dodgy. Okay, we're kind of in a situation where I feel like. Um, I feel like you might need to take this home and spend a week learning it. Because it's, yeah, the difficult, the thing I don't understand is why these buttons don't seem to work. Yeah. These don't function correctly. These don't seem to do anything. Yeah. Yet setting this wheel's profile in the game that the game has detected doesn't make them do the functions that they say they're going to do. Yeah. That's, that's the there might be an explanation for these, but it's certainly not working at face value, which is yeah. just like, hmm. 
and like if we actually it, once we know the explanation we can probably either say okay that's dumb it shouldn't yeah. work that way or we can be like oh okay there was actually a legitimate reason for this it was a skill issue or we were looking in the wrong menu or something like that but yeah um uh let's see jd says i'll drop some youtube links in dms caradog fair enough so yes um oh, i see all right Um, okay, so I think we might be dangerously in a position where we're out of content for today and we just need to spend time figuring out the wheel um, because otherwise we're going to have a lot of dry... because I think the next stage of this is a very dry content session of just tinkering with settings and going, oh, that does that, that does that, and so on. Um, Certainly the only other option we have is just trying it out in some other games, but we don't have, we don't have anything else prepared for that. Because, uh, um, I don't know, honestly I thought it was going to take longer to set up and get going. Although, but that's just simply because it takes us forever to do anything. see okay you've also been sent a link to the fanatec forum profile settings for the game as well um so more resources are on hand um i take it you're looking at the um the firmware update again yeah apparently okay all right we're just seeing if we can get all of I the firmwares know. up to date yeah I have no idea. It seems yeah. to the, doing the firmware update seems to make it go. There's no wheel connected, but the buttons on the wheel function. Odd. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, so we'll ha we'll have a we'll we'll see if the updater can go through, and then I think we might have to wrap up just simply because yeah, I think all of the the. Yeah, like I say, we kind of need we we need to spend time figuring out how to set up profiles and controls, which is not exciting to watch. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's ultimately what a lot of it's going to be. Yeah, if all of the controls had just done what was written on them straight away, then we could keep going. Um, but also, uh, to be honest, I would have been I would have been flabbergasted if that had been the case. In all honesty, um, we got. We got a pretty good experience out of the box, but yeah, all of the small settings seem to be... The devil's in the details, it looks like. Fanatec device is in Xbox mode. Yeah, if I leave it in Xbox mode mm. and then launch the game, does it work? And does that then make the buttons function as they should? Yeah. Was it in Xbox mode before? No. Aha, okay, right. That sounds like that will solve the issue. But in Xbox mode, it will not communicate with the PC effectively because all of the FireTech software won't function. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of... Yeah, no. Oh, I see. Xbox mode is in, I'm using this on a literal Xbox. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised it even has an Xbox mode, if I'm honest, but on the other hand, considering how much it can do in hardware, that's not unreasonable, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay, I think we're done. Um, so we're going to carry on fiddling with this, but I think we're out of content for today. So uh, it's going to be a short one, but yeah, that took everything. I'm I'm kind of like I'm just like, what what is this? We've we had two things to do, and we did both of them. This never happens. We're always like three and a half hours deep, and we only did one of the things. So I'm just like, what do we yeah. do now? <laughs> However, yeah. I think what we're going to do, we're going to go away and fiddle with these things because we need to look up. We'll we'll have a look at the profiles and stuff like that. But also, it's um, we kind of want to do a little bit of discovery because, you, you know, it certainly my judgment of a device is I should just be able to sit down and just use it or figure it out. You know, 
with whatever the on-screen stuff is presenting me with. Because, you know, it's kind of like, you know, with a user interface. If you need an instruction manual to figure out a user interface, it's not a good user interface. Um, so, uh, which is not to say that we're disparaging it or anything. It's just like, we've just we've just opened this up. We've no idea how to use it. We've got to learn. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. I think we're going to learn off camera, though, because that's going to be a lot of standing around with nothing ha much happening. So um, let's see. Xbox compatibility is wheelbase and PlayStation compatibility is based off the base. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Remove. Now it says to remove the steering wheel mm. before. Oh, right. Do I remove remove the steering wheel before the WQR firmware update? Okay. Is it inferring there's a firmware update for this metal collar? Surely not. I'm going to remove this metal collar and see if there is anything but a metal collar. Okay, yeah, fair enough. All right. Also, welcome to the back of my shirt. Yes. Right, we'll go a little bit deeper. That is the wrong one. Oh, uh, that's I know. why I'm that's why I'm bemused by yes. not fitting. Um, um, I put this in the box that the collar came in. Oh, it's there. Yep, it's in there. Cool. Because like, it should just be a ring of metal with a spring. Apparently, there's a pin that detects which quick release system is in play. Yeah. But also, Pete says there's no firmware update for the quick disconnect. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm very confused by all of this, but I am mm. examining each section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll um, we'll we'll go through a little bit further on this just to see what we can discover about this. Um, how warm is the box? I would imagine not very by now. No. It has cooled down. If it did produce any warmth, it has cooled down. I just made the mistake of just going to turn the collar and going, oh, that's greasy. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be. Yes, there is nothing there that could in any way do any sort of communication. Oh All yeah, of yeah, that is there. that's purely mechanical. Yeah. Yes. Hence my confusion about the instructions. However, FireTech will quick. The quick release will be updated. But. It's purely mechanical. There's there's no electronics here. Error. Ping device failed. No no thing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess you could just put that on on its own. That is literally what I'm about to do. And then try it again. Stand by, everyone. Uh, all right, yeah, the software has gotten most upset. Uh, we'll, yeah, I'll swap places with you again. Whoop. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Now connect it to the steering wheel base. Okay. Okay. Did it do a thing with it just then? 
I don't know. Hmm. The problem is it also feels like we're in a degree of technology where there's an awful lot of superstition and horse hair. Yeah. Well, I, even though we can't see any visual electronics, I could believe that, like, there's... Ah. Um, <laughs> I could believe that, like, it's got... A, there's a thing that detects ground through the metal collar or something like that. But also it's just like... But why would it need to know what that is? It doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Unknown. All right. Stand by. <laughs> Red October. Yes, this is the CS Swaform V2X. Okay. V2.5. But dunk. Right. That is definitely on. Yes. Okay. Okay, so wheel firmware will be updated. The rumble motors will be active. I see. Okay, it seems to be updating. How heavy is the wheel? Um, not particularly. Like it's that, got yeah, yeah. four hundred grams. Yeah, grams? like um, it's got a um, you know, like you pick it up and it feels like a quality piece of equipment kind of thing. Um, but like it's not weighted or anything because obviously it doesn't need to be. Um, yeah. but like I think the main thing is um, the actual materials quality and like the um uh. What do you call this again? Al 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 suede? Alacan not not alacanti. Do you know what I'm trying um, to say? Yes. Um and I've forgotten what it's The I've grip is very nice. Um, um but yeah, no, yeah. not not too heavy at all. Because obviously, like, you know, all of the weighting yeah. is supposed to be done by the motor. Right. Okay, that seems to have uh that seems to have succeeded. Ah. Alcantara. Yeah, there we go. Alcantara, yes. Right. Apparently, the wireless quick release firmware needs updating. Wireless quick release? How, how does one update the wireless quick release then? You don't have any wireless quick release, though, do you? I don't know. Yeah. Do I? Do I not? Okay. The system thinks it has one. Right. Remove the steering wheel. Capture with face. If I remove the steering wheel, <laughs> then click OK. The quick release will be updated. I so, so presumably, okay, so that's got like a picture of a coil or something. I assume that there is something in the face of the drive that it is updating and you don't have a system that is interfacing with that, but it has the, the wheel side of it, and that counts as a separate device. You would imagine that that would be part of the, of the, of the base firmware, but I guess that's separate or something. I don't know. Yeah. Also, why couldn't it have popped up with that menu the first four times I ran the firmware update? Hmm. I mean, again, it might be that certain things can only be installed when you're on certain other things or something like that. Right, apparently I'm now up to date. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's the thing. You've got... There's Fanatec wheel base motor, Fanatec wheel base, and the quick... So yeah, I could fully believe that the quick release firmware is built into this somewhere because it's got separate firmware for 
this and also the motor inside it, which is bonkers as far as I'm concerned. I'm like, what do you mean the engine, the motor has firmware? But also apparently I can't update the firmware for the pedals mm. unless the pedals are plugged into the computer directly by USB. Oh. I mean, that's not unreasonable because that, that, um, that telephone wire is, is just going to be sensors. Right. But it's also the fact of it doesn't have a USB port on them. Ah. Pedals. So you have to use some sort of telephone wire to USB cable? Ah. My, my point is more the fact that there didn't seem to be an obvious cable in the pedal box to plug it in via USB. Yes. And I'm just like, I see. <coughs> Right, okay then. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we got further into that However, at least. Yes. The update has apparently completed. Okay. Right. Fair enough. So, um, okay, so we got the firmware update done, which was a little bit janky, but we seem to make it through there. Uh, I think everything else we need to go and, but we need to go, and by we, I mean you need to go and figure out the buttons and controls and profiles and then we can actually come back and have a discussion about that. Carrot <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dog is making it do the burr. Um, but past that, I think there, there's not much more we can do now without yeah. you spending time figuring it out, is there? No, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Right, well, that being the case then... Um, that being the case, we'll wrap up. Pete says you shouldn't need to worry about the pedal firmware because you don't have the load cell kit, which would need the firmware. I see. Um, so, yes, apparently don't worry about the pedals. No, but it's just more of a fact of it's just like, connect this using the things that we haven't supplied. Yes, I think that therein is the issue, is that the software is not telling us this. We, uh, you know, a YouTube live chat is telling us how to do it, not the software. I think that's the problem that we're that's running into That's kind of more here. the point I'm making. It's just yeah. the fact of it says, you need to plug your pedals in via USB. Yeah. Um, and also, like... But maybe I don't. Yeah. And it's like, it's all very well saying, so like, oh, there are profiles we can download and stuff. It's just like, why isn't the software telling us any of this, if you see what I mean? But also, we have spent the grand total of approximately half an hour looking at the software cumulatively, yeah. and the rest of the time was spent dicking around in F1, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but, yeah. I think, um, yeah. At any rate, I think we're going to wrap up because we're going to have to spend some time. Yeah. And then once uh, once the system is learned, this is why we needed to do discovery before going straight into a review because um, this was going to be way too complicated to review out the box. Um, so, yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Um, do, do, do. Apparently, Fanatec had some Black Friday drama as well. They had glitched low prices and cancelled the order, but their email response to people is very laughable. That is not surprising based on no. uh, our, and by our, I mean your experience with them yeah. so far. Um, they seem to be a company that can, their engineers seem to be very good. Their customer service slash business team seems to have no idea what the hell they're doing. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, so, yes. All right, we're going to wrap up. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, this will make an appearance again. We're going to do a proper video on this, but, yeah, unfortunately, the next step is very dry content that we're not going to do on, on live on stream no. um, because I've spent the past hour going, so what's, uh, what else can we do with this right now <laughs> kind of thing? Yeah. Hmm. Got a show here. Hmm. So <laughs> thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll be back next week with something else. Um, we'll update you on how we're going with this. Don't know what our time scale for this, though, is because we'll need to figure it out and stuff. But yeah. you know how it goes. Uh, but, yeah, we'll be back. We'll give you updates on this. Um, videos are in the works. The, the graphics card certainly seems to be working again, so there will be a video on that at some point. Um, but that, that video is going to be a very difficult one to edit because um, it's in, there's, a lo there's a lot of pieces to it. But, yeah. yeah, we'll have something. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next week, probably. Um, so that will be it. This has been a good conversation in post-Anglo-Saxon. Uh, yes, I concur. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. We'll see you next time. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Now would be a good time to insert ads. Toodles.
live streaming. Oh, it's logged us out. We're probably still live. Can we finish? Yeah, verify that it's you. Why would you log me out midway through a stream? All right, hang on a sec. Yep, we're still live, I think. I'm going to wait for this to load just so I can just be like, all right, we're still here. We're still here. Goodbye. <laughs>